If nobody's willing to man up and fess up to this one bag of weed, the three of you guys are gonna go to jail for a bag of weed. No, he's running. Hey! Well, I'm not saying that I feel like that. <laughs> There's black paint on the wall, and you have black paint on your fingers. Get out of the car! 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 We're going over to assist uh, the fire department. They've got a subject that's being physically aggressive towards them. Seven Charlie 33 arriving. I'll be out with that subject. What's up, man? Step in front of my car. Hey. Hey, come here. Control 7 Charlie 33. Subjects not obeying my commands. Walking uh, eastbound on Utah. Copy code Reddit channel. Hey. Hey, my man. Turn around for me. <clears throat> Control 7 Charlie 33 waiting for another unit before I go hands on. Copy. Going on the ground. Put your hands behind your back. Hey, put your hands behind your back. Walking eastbound Utah from Fairfield. Hey, hey, relax, relax. Hey, get on the ground, get on the ground. Police department, police department, police department. Get on the ground, get on the ground, get on the ground. Stop resisting, police officer, get on the ground. Get on the ground, get on the ground. Police officer, stop resisting. Get on the ground! Don't move! Okay, I got one. I got one. Okay, taser's off. Okay. You want to change? You want to do? Everybody all right? All right. Control seven, Charlie thirty-three, one in custody. Parole supervisor. Lift their channel. Okay, copy. Uh, confirming it's code four to the channel. That's for we just get me a supervisor. Easy there. Easy. Us, seven, ready, ready. Easy. What'd you take? What'd you take? What'd you take? We need to Hi guys. Uh, yes, please. What'd you guys get initial call on him for? Man down. Man down. He was no problem. Hey, relax, man. Relax, okay? It's over. Okay? They're gonna have to transport him to the hospital. Yeah. yeah he's okay, way out there. Uh, not not Let's do that. Uh, hey! Relax, man. Relax. I got his one foot. <laughs> Uh, well, we're going to give them to you guys anyway yeah. for transport. Yeah, so you can <laughs> Relax. 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 No, we're going to get him up on a stretcher. Hey, relax, man. Relax, OK? Relax. He's amped up on something. Yeah, he sure is. He, he wasn't feeling anything. I hit him pretty hard in the yeah, face. He wasn't so. feeling anything. I got I got those probes in him. He wasn't even affecting him. Didn't do anything. All right, here we go. Are we putting them up? Yeah. There you go. Better? I went to taser. I tased him. No effect. I tried multiple touch stuns on him. Nothing. I think it was like a 15 second ride. And then that, about that time is when uh, somebody else rolled up and uh, we were able to get him into custody. But I mean, he, he wasn't obeying any of my commands. I was feeling stop resisting the whole nine yards. There was like nothing there. The lights were on, but nobody was home. And uh, that went from a simple restraint straight to self-defense and all the way up to almost deadly force real fast. And uh, that could have been a lot worse. So uh, he's facing charges of battery on a police officer and resisting arrest. Do you have any guns, anything on you? Let me just check, OK? 
Get out of here. We just got a call. It's an unknown trouble call where this male called in, said that he uh, needed police, and then hung up. How you doing? Did you call? All right. No. No. How you doing? Did you call us? How you doing, sir? Did you call us? No. No. Just a friend visiting up here. Okay. I don't know these people. I don't know these drunks. They're drinking in the parking lot. Oh, and, okay. Uh, that's all I know. So they're bothering you? Nothing else. They're bothering you? No, sir. That's my that's my temper. That's your temper? Yes, what? it is. Okay. I'm being honest. Why should I lie? Are they your friends? Uh, one of them was my uncle. The other guy, I really don't know him. Okay. Are you having an argument with them? Uh, no, we're just talking. Go ahead and stand in front of the car for me. Okay. St stand in front of the car. What? Stand in front of the car. Okay. Talk to me. Do you have any guns, anything on you? No, I don't have anything Let me just check, okay? Get out of here! Get on the ground now. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. You want 50,000 okay. volts? Get on the I'm ground okay, now. I'm okay. Three easy, four sixteen. You wanna hit me? Get on the ground. Okay, that's all right. Get on the ground now. It's all right, it's all right. Get on the ground. I'm on the ground. Give me a hand. You guys want me a step? Put your feet out. Put your feet out. You have ID? Yes, sir. Accept the thing. Can I change? Grab me a string. Do a step. Stand up. Stand up. Let's go. Come on. Grab me no, His ID's right. on the ground over here. What happened? Now you heard me coming back? Oh, Lord. Stand right there. Now, this is the, the guy that called. He's mad at his uncle. We're in front of my car. He said, I don't have any problems. These guys are just drinking in my parking lot. I don't want them here. They started coming out here, tried to pat him down. That's when he started to fight. And here we are now. I guess I got a little bloody. Which finger is it? This middle one. I think it was when I was, my, my uh, hand was on the ground. And I was trying to uh, get him in custody still. He was still fighting. I pulled my hand out. I think that's when I got caught on a rock. I think he was the one that was calling the police and then hung, hang up, hung up on the, uh, the operators. So uh, when he get here, he's yelling, I don't have anything to do with it. And uh, these two gentlemen in front of my car here were uh, just standing out here in the parking lot. He's yelling from the balcony. They didn't do anything wrong, let him go. All right, this guy actually called the police. Okay. The, uh, the guy in the cowboy hat here lives upstairs where the, with the open door. The guy in the blue shirt um, came over to ask about a car that the guy in the cowboy hat has for sale. Okay. This is cowboy hat guy's uh, nephew. Okay. So they're talking about the car and the nephew comes out. He's drunk or looks like he's high to me, but right. uh, he starts yelling at the, at the guy in the blue shirt about something. The guy's like, hey, I don't want to fight with you. So he called the police and then I guess you showed up and wound up fighting with this guy. So. I got the uh, tail end of his anger, right? But he's off to jail for obstructing a police officer. Right now, there's another agency coming into our uh, coming into Minneapolis. They're in pursuit of a vehicle. 
There they are. And they are asking for assistance on L-10-1. 443, we're now going south on Penn, just now crossing 12th. Still south on Penn. South on Penn from Oak Park. Approaching 394 interchange. We're approaching 394 interchange now. West, westbound 394. Westbound on 394 from Penn. Got speed in there. Trooper coming up on your left. Right now, it looks like the state patrol is going to try and pit them. Stand by. Tom John Murray. One is a 9344 registers to the Avenue in Minneapolis. Pit him. You pit him out. He's crying. He's rolling. Location. Let's get him right through the front there. All right, what's up? Can everybody see his hands? This is black. There. He's, he's, he's moaning. Back window. You want to unsnap him? No. Okay, there's pressure ready if you need it. There's uh, smoke underneath. That's something. He's starting to move here. Watch this. He's got a large gash get on his right here. side. Let's get him out of here. What's your name, Warren? Milton. Milton. What hurts, Milton? What? Anything hurt? No. No? You feel Milton? okay? I feel okay. All right. So Milton, do you just have a couple drinks tonight? Is that why you're running? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to get an ambulance for you and take care of you, all right? All right. The car was uh, yep. smoking, so we had to pull him out. <laughs> okay. Is he still fighting? Fight? No. He okay. flipped probably four or five times. Okay. We didn't know if the vehicle was going to catch on fire or something, so we cut his seatbelt and pulled him out to safety there. EMS is going to look at him and make sure he's okay and get him to the hospital. What was the pursuit for? Uh, I stopped him for an equipment violation. He had uh, okay. uh, no license plate light. Once yeah, I stopped him, I went up to the car. He asked him for his driver's license and proof of insurance. He rummaged through the glove box, said he didn't have a proof of insurance with him. I said, how about that license? And he checked both pockets, threw his hands up, and put it in drive and left. When they asked him if he had been drinking, he said, yeah, I had a couple drinks tonight. And I said, is that what you're running? <laughs> yep. He's going to the hospital now. I want to know the truth. He agreed to have sex with me. He had sex with me. He didn't pay me my $20. He got mad, grabbed me by my throat, and threw me on the ground and beat the hell out of me. So you want him arrested? Yes, I do, and I want my money. Right now, we're out to a possible domestic disturbance. A call came out of a male, female in an alley in a gray van, and the female's uh, screaming for help. OK. What's the problem? Are you OK? No. What's the matter? You know what's wrong. What happened? What's wrong with you? 
Come out here. Come on. Come out. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, stay awake. Sit down right here. Sit down right here. Wait, 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 wait. Sit down. Okay, relax. He's coming out. Come on. All right, what's wrong with you? Come on, what happened? Did you get beat up? Yeah. We beat you up. He did. How do you know this guy? What are we doing here? I was working. You're working? Yes. Okay, that's what I need to know. What were, what were you guys doing? We weren't doing nothing. I was right for him to get his way. Did he hit you or not? Yes. How did he hit you? He punched me in my face. Okay. What were you doing down there in between he the had, seats? He by my neck. And my nose was right here, right And I was done. What did you guys say? You been using any drugs tonight? No, man. No? I'm, I'm, I'm a guy. I know. I'm okay. Uh, okay, I'm you scared. all right? No, I'm scared. Uh -huh. I got a pew. Okay. Señor, uh -huh. ¿qué pasó aquí? La muchacha me pidió un raite aquí en la calle que sigue. He got a ride. Dinero no le di. She wanted a ride. Dinero no le di. Por ride. Dios que no le di she dinero. She gave him five dollars for the ride. Ni un cinquito. He didn't por give Dios her any money. You getting a ride with a guy when you don't even know? You say he owes you twenty bucks. He took twenty dollars. If what you would listen. Where did he take it from? He took it out of my purse, right here, my purse. How'd you end up down there like that? He grabbed me by my neck. Grabbed you by your neck. Yes. Okay. Why would he grab you by your neck? Because he knew I had twenty dollars. How do you know you had twenty dollars? Because I was putting on my makeup. Am I free to go? No, you're not. I want to know the truth. First, you said nothing. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm working. So what? You I'm working? homeless. Are you working right now? Yes. I'm homeless. Did he pick you up for what? Yes. So what did he agree to? He agreed to have sex with me. He had sex with me. He didn't pay me my twenty dollars. He got mad, grabbed me by my throat, and threw me on the ground and beat the hell out of me. He got my twenty dollars and I want it. All right, you all ain't got beat up. Y'all is not homeless like I am. So you want him arrested? Yes, I do, and I want my money. No, por Dios, santito, que no. No. No, por Dios, que no. Mira, Dios me está escuchando que no es cierto. Do what? Make didn't give her any money. Yo no se las hice. I didn't do it. Por Dios, santito, que no se las hice, I pero pues si ella dice, pues ni modo. Barbara, I got a little form. I'm going to have you sign. So you guys agreed to that, right? Yes. OK, we're going to work on that, Barbara. Can I sit down, though? Yeah, have a seat. We'll find a seat right there. That's fine. Oh, Barbara, you all right? Hi. Barbara, you cool right there, all right? You all right? All right, we're going to have you sign a form real quick, Barbara. This guy, he picks up that female over there for uh, purposes of prostitution, OK? Anyways, they got a disagreement inside the van over here over the amount, OK? It was going to be $5 to $20. Uh, they both get upset. Uh, we get a call that there's some screaming and yelling. Uh, but to sum it up, they're both drunk in public, too intoxicated to uh, make any sense. So uh, they're going to uh, go to jail and sober up. Barbara, look, we had a warrant for your arrest, Barbara. Uh, yeah, we had a warrant for your arrest, so uh, you end up go you're going to end up going to jail and then being released in four hours, and they'll give you a citation. To group four hours, I'll be released? Yeah, in about four hours, you get released, OK? okay. Um, what about my money? The money, um, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to give you back the money because you guys both agreed to have sex, Barbara, and I can't get take that money back from him. You know, both of you guys, he's going to jail too, Barbara. Two people are going to jail for drunk in public. You know you're naked right now? Yes, I do. I was trying to get arrested. Why do you want to get arrested? What for? I'm trying to do a drug life. Would you rather just check into treatment? I guess we've got a naked individual proning himself out on the ground. The other officer's already arrived on scene, and I don't know if he's interviewed him enough to find out, but apparently he's uh, our naked individuals on bath salts. It's the latest and greatest in the craze of crazes. Makes him very paranoid, a little crazy. Around noon. Around noon? Mm hmm. So he's on bath salts, trying to prove to his family that he's sober. You know you're naked right now? Yes, I do. Right. Is that because your body's too hot or what? No, it's because I wanted to show them that there's nothing on my body. 
So where did you come from? Um, we got a call that you're walking down the middle of Glenstone. I was trying. I was trying to get arrested. You're trying to get arrested? Yes. Why do you want to get arrested? What for? I'm tired of the drug life. Would you rather just check into treatment? Self-admit? They just made me make the choice the hardest way possible. How did you get here? <clears throat> um, it's a long, long story. I've been walking all night. I've what? walked everywhere. You said last time you snored, the bass house was around noon? Um, Are you sure about that? Because it's about 4.30 in the morning. Yes, it was around there. You haven't done any since? No. Have you been like this since then? Not naked, no. Well, I mean, Perky jerky, you're all tweaking. No, I'm not tweaking. You're not? I'm tired. I see, I've been up for about two or three days. For two or three days? Two days? Yeah, I think it was about two days. Left work early today. Did you have a bad day at work? Is that where you left early? No, I was, uh, I was feeling really bad, and they noticed it. So they tell you to go home? No, I, I told them that I was sick, and I, and I wanted to go home. You told and them that it turns out they had a magnificent plan because they followed me. And I noticed it with the paranoia. Uh, I started walking, and it's about here. With the paranoia from the bath salts? Yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. I turned around, and I saw one of the guys driving a car who was looking at me. And they normally don't, don't go down that road. OK. And so I kept walking and stuff. And then I got to the, uh, I got to the place where I was getting more. You stopped someplace else to get some more bath salts? Yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. it, was at a, it was down at a friend's house. Mm -hmm. Is it close? It feels like it's forever. Chris, do you know your ABCs? Yes, I do. Can you recite it without singing it for us? Yes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. You're good. <clears throat> hey, Chris, you know the bath salts are going to be illegal here in a couple of weeks? Yes, I do. You got to approve the legislation. It's going to be the same thing as marijuana, OK? Mm -hmm. All right, so you probably need to knock that off and not do it anymore. Absolutely. It's going to be like meth, marijuana, all that stuff. So it keep all... you from getting set up for success that way. That way we don't find you here naked in the street. Do you think this is natural for you, or no, have, have, you done it, have you done this before? Yeah, the bath salts? Yeah. Yeah. Not, not got naked. Not naked? But you've done bath salts no. before, though? Yes. Well, yeah. OK. Probably need to go to hospital and get checked out, man. More than willing. I can't really get up. Can <laughs> My body's very sore. Which way you want to roll? I don't. Let's roll to me. Let's sit up. Stand on up there, Chris. All right. Come on. Don't walk out of the traffic. Sit right there. You okay. Have a seat. These guys are going to get you taken care of, OK? They'll get you off the drug. OK. Do me a favor before you go. Say one thing. One thing. Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. There you go. Never felt so good to get arrested. He told us he'd taken bath salts. It's the synthetic form, if there is such a thing, of methamphetamine. And at this point, it's still legal. It produces the same euphoric high to get off of meth. Serious medical problems can result from it, even on a one-time use. It's a pretty spooky thing. On you. Got a 911 call from here. I don't have a gun. Well, now, what was the threat? You call the law on me, I will kill you. Bitch. Okay. I will kill you. We're on our way to meet another officer. He's out on a family fight, from what it sounds like. And he's saying that there's a barricaded gunman inside the house. Suspect residence can be a brown painted house. I'm going to go around to the front and come in the front door. Keep him occupied. Hold your dog. Hold your dog. Do you have any weapons on you? Get in. 
Don't lose it, guys. Don't lose it, guys. Don't lose it, guys. Lay down. Six. Calm down, mister. Calm down, mister. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, mister. Anyone else inside this house? I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Are you a resident of this house? Yes, sir. I live here. OK. You're barricaded in a room with a gun? No. I don't have a gun. Got a 911 call from here. I don't have with a gun. You being, with you having a gun. Stick, come to me. Come to me on your knees. On your knees. Go to the ground. Arms out. Palms in the air. Palms in the air. Is this suspect? Yeah, suspect. We got it. Where's your gun? I don't have a gun, sir. Why'd you say you had a gun threatening to kill her? I ain't, I wasn't threatening to kill nobody. We were arguing, but I'm not trying to kill no damn body. This is him. This is him. Get him up. All right, get him up. Get him up. Two, three, go. I'm gonna leave you in my car, okay? I'll we'll find out what's going on in there. All right. Get my head. Just to let you know why we're like this. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. I'm gonna put this up. Oh, so I don't. Interview. Hello. What all happened? Um, I, he doesn't agree with how I raise my kids, and and I don't talk to nobody. I go to work every day, and I'm always doing something to somebody else, and I'm not. Okay. And who's he to you? He is my daughter's son. I'm her daughter's father. Your daughter's father? Yes. Okay. And what are all these from right here? Uh, him hitting me. Him hitting you? Yes. Like with fist yes. or yes. like slapping? Yeah, yeah. He hit me, and it busted all my blood veins. Here. And, and is that home. is that recent? Last this is night, what happened. Last night. Okay, what happened today? today as far as the argument, he and still hit me. He was still hitting. I, I did not Where at? It. In my face. In your face? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, what was up with the gun? He's always had a gun in the house. Uh, did he have it out or anything today? Uh, not today, but he told me he'll get bullets for it. He doesn't even have bullets for it right now. Uh, he's got one in the chamber. One in the chamber, okay. Uh, but he never pulled it out, never pointed it at you or anything like that? Did not point it at me today, but threatened me with it. Threatened you with it? Yes, I know there's one in the chamber, and I, chamber and I know that he will. Now, what was the threat? Um, what did he say? Because I called the cops. They would kill me. Like you exact know? words? Yes, you called the law on me, I will kill you, bitch. Okay. I will kill you. No shots were fired, so he's fine and we're okay. fine. Thank you. Hey, man, what's going on tonight? We was arguing. What was y'all arguing about? I don't even remember. We, I had a couple of drinks. She had a couple of drinks. Was it That's physical it. at any time? I slapped her. But I you slapped her today? Yeah, I slapped okay. her Okay. Uh, just like open hand slap or? Yes, sir. OK. Uh, you didn't push her or anything like that, right? OK. All right, sit tight for me, OK? The subject's going to be going to Potter County Detention Center for assault domestic violence causing bodily injury. OK, I just uh, observed a motorcycle up here. Doesn't uh, appear to have a rear license plate. Going to attempt to do a traffic stop on the bike. OK, we're in pursuit of a motorcycle. Doesn't have any license plates on it. Driver's a white male. And he's going to OK, we're to eastbound Georgia, which is past Gillen. just before the overcrossing on uh, Carl. Stick your hands out in front of you. Put your hand behind your back. Are you injured? No, my knees and the dog fit the side of my side. Okay. What's wrong with your knees? I 
just gonna smash all the okay. way across the fence. Did you hit your head? No. Okay. You on probation or parole? Probation. What are you on probation for? For, uh, 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 there's drugs in there. Okay, there's drugs in here? Yeah. All right. What kind of drugs are in there? Meth. All right, who's the motorcycle belong to? Belongs to a friend of mine. Friend of yours? Yes, okay. it's not stolen. It's not stolen? No, I ran because I had the dope in my pocket. Okay. Can you walk? Uh, Is your leg walk. broken? No, it's not broken. Okay, we're gonna stand you up real quick, all right? Okay, okay. Can you stand up for me? Just roll one of your legs underneath you. All right, we're gonna put you in the back seat of a car, okay? Just walk on over here. Looks like a meth pipe, a bunch of syringes, a couple loaded syringes. Hey, Darren, who's the bike belong to? Belongs to me. Belongs to you? Yeah, it's my bike. Uh, okay. I'm gonna, I thought you said it was. I mean, a friend of mine loaned it to me, but I'm not gonna drag him in the middle of nothing. No, no, that's cool. I mean, it's, it's mine. All right, it's, it's I'm bad. good with that. Looked like you were, uh, good when you were going down the road down there. I almost lost it in that fence, I know. You really did. You almost lost it into the fence. And uh, what were you doing when you were, like, rocking back and forth and stuff? Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to, I don't know. I mean, you show, I showboating a little bit? No, I should have just stopped. I mean, it was just a dope charge. Big deal. Now I got a hit. Now I got a high speed chase and everything else on. All you know, right. Stupid. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ride. So, did you say you want to uh, have somebody come pick the bike up? Well, you know, just have impound pick it up. Just you want to just impound it? Yeah, okay. Just impound it. All right, cool. Um, so how much, how much, uh, was that meth? Yeah. Okay, how much meth is there, you think? I don't know, I don't know. A couple gram. grams, maybe? Not even close, no way. So you're just running for, uh, like, a gram of methamphetamine? Yeah, because yeah, I'm on probation and I didn't want to go back to jail. Okay. Uh, you ever been to prison before? Yep. Been off well, parole since 06. Been off parole since 2006? Okay. All right, well, the fire department's here. They're gonna check you out, make sure you're all right. Uh, what hurts the most? Ah, uh, my side. Your side? Uh, okay. Uh, well, it's not uh, that bad. Uh, my side, my knee, they're both. Okay. The Which knee is it, your right knee? Yeah. Okay. We'll let the fire guys check you out and make sure you're all good. Couldn't see him with the dust, so I got the dog out of the car and come around the corner and sent the dog. And uh, sure enough, after the dust cleared, the dog had him right there by the bike. Um, didn't look like he got too far or even tried to tried to get away. But uh, like I said, I wasn't sure if he was armed or not. So he was just running because he had a little bit of dope on him? Yeah, a little bit of dope. And it uh, looks like it's about two and a half grams and a bunch of syringes. It's a big price to pay for such a small amount of uh, narcotics. Yeah. That's for my dialysis, bro. Don't pull on it. In the cover. He's made contact with two guys. They're checking him for a wire. I just want to get high. All right. Get some ground, dude, before I drop you. All right, guys. The op that we're doing today is a buy bust. I will be the undercover. I'll be on a bicycle. Charge will be a sale of whatever, OK? Marijuana, cocaine, heroin. For the most part, it's going to either be a felony possession or a sale charge, OK? These are felonies. All right, I got to go do my thing and uh, see you guys in a little bit. I alter my appearance quite often. The dirt that I'm fixing to put on me makes it look like I have um, been working all day um, in a labor type job. I'm ready to roll. Everyone else is in position. Let's go see if we can't get some bad guys off the street. All right, there's the UC. He's going to try this gas station right down the street on Edison here. And he's going to try and do a dope deal from a couple of guys hanging out in front. Gary! Yeah! What's up, man? It's Brett, dude. In the cover was uh, riding past the gas station, saw a guy he knows. He's putting up an order right now to order uh, probably some crack, and we'll see if the guy will go and get it. How much you want? I got, I got 40. Yeah, okay. 40. All right. We'll go together, take your time. Yeah? I'm on, man. Mm -hmm. I right, placed the order. Uh, you ordered something like 40 hours worth of crack cocaine. All right, we're going to follow the UC with the target to another house to get the dope. There they go. He's going to ride up to BC Alley to try and get the crack. Give me the money, man. You bring it back, man. Yeah, I ain't running off with of it. There's half. Come back with two, and I'll give you the rest. You guys going around back towards the alley. We're going to wait for him to come back out and uh, complete the deal. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Thanks, good. All right. We're going to pull left, guys. I'm going to try and put him right out on the uh, passenger side. Right there. All right. Go. Let's go. Get on the ground. What? What I did? Get on the ground. Get your hands behind your back. What I did? What I do? You're in the rest. Get your hands behind your back. Out right there selling dope. What's that doing dope? Yeah, you was. That's what we saw you doing. Who's the guy on the bike? I ain't no dope. What's your name? 
Let me get her it. One, two, three. They say I'm Ready? Go. Are you under arrest to sell cocaine? What's that in no dope? So if we stop him, we ain't gonna find any dope on him? I don't know. I doubt it. He wanted all the money up front. Uh, I wasn't willing to do that. Uh, I explained to him I'd been ripped before, so I gave him half. Uh -huh. I told him to return with the two rocks. Okay. Good job. One down, a few more to go. Yep. Sounds good. Let's go find somebody else, take him off. Yeah, he should be coming up to Leno right now. Uh, Where exactly is he, Rob? He's got a black male, no shirt, with blue jeans, short times. Want to check him, white shoes. All right, I got an eyeball. 40. Too hard, man. I'm not, man. What's up? What's that? That's for my dialysis, bro. Don't pull on it. Dialysis? Yeah, man. I got shot, man, two years ago. He's made contact with two guys. They're checking him for a wire. Um, we're making sure that he doesn't get robbed. We want to stay real close. Put it on the ground. All right. Get on the ground, dude, before I drop you. Just drop it on the ground. Hey. Get up. I just want to get high. I just want to get high. Thanks, bro. All right, it's a go, right, Rob? Yeah, you're all set. You can take them. They're both by the stairwell. Go, go. What about shirt shorts? All right, just relax, just relax. Just relax, put your hand behind your back. All right, just sit, relax. What are you doing out here? I was standing outside, sir. And you're doing what? Just chilling. Stand Ready? Up, One, two, three. <clears throat> Anything in those? How much money you got? That's about like 70 bucks, bro. Right now, you're under arrest for sale of cocaine. I feel you on that, but I'm saying. No, I'm glad you're filming. I'm saying, damn, dude. I'm saying, dude, dog. Mickey, Sit down. you know relax. me. Sit down. Gonzalez, relax. Gonzalez, you know me. Sit down. So, who's the dude on the bike? I don't know the dude on the bike. He came up here, sir, asking for dope, dude. I don't know. I didn't, got, I didn't give him. If you want to dispute it, take it up with the judge. All right. Bro's at. Man, call him mama, man. Grabbed the cigarette pack, and when the cigarette pack came out, uh, so did the wire. And so we tugged on the wire and asked, you know, obviously, expletive, expletive, what was that? I said, and he tugged on it, and I said, uh, hey, man, be careful. That's my dialysis. I got kidney problems. Uh -huh. And he was like, oh, right, and he actually apologized. He's pulling on it. So I apologize, drug dealer. Good. Worked out well. We're responding to a call here where a black male on a bicycle is trying to lure a 12-year-old uh, girl um, away from her mom. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Get your hands off. Get your hands in the car right here. What are you doing? I ain't doing anything, sir. What do you mean you're not doing nothing? I'm not Hands doing up on the car. Squad three, six. Any weapons on you, sir? No, sir. Nothing? No. Squad three, sixty. Where are you going? I was going. I'm headed back oh, down to the Salvation Army, Army, sir. To where? Salvation Army. Okay. Where are you coming from? I came from uh, around to the place around there where I ate at. Where's the place around there where you oh, ate at? What's, it, the, what's the address? Clifton? Clifton? I don't know the address. You got my granddaughter Put down the stick. That's my granddaughter. Okay, go ahead and just step back for me. I'll come talk to you in just one minute. All right, sir, put your hands behind your back. You're just going to be placed in cuffs for now. Is this, is this where you're living right now? Yes, sir. Which one? 1010? Uh, or 1000? 1000? 1, yeah, 1, yes, sir. There. Right there. Sir, come over this way. Okay. Just for now, you're being detained, okay? What? We're investigating a luring. A luring? Yep. I'll explain to you what's going on, okay? In just okay, a minute. Okay. Give me one minute. Thank I'll be right back with you. So you're walking down this way, right? Mm -hmm. And he comes biking up alongside you? Mm -hmm. And then what does he say to you? He says, hey, baby. And so I just start screaming for my friend. Okay. And then where did he go from there? Did he continue following you? Or? He just so, so he was going the other way then? Yeah. OK. She said he kept getting closer and stuff because she came in screaming. We just live right around the corner, right next to the church. And she came in screaming and just crying. And I didn't know what happened. And I was asking her. And she goes, this guy kept following me. He wouldn't stop following me. And I and I was like, what guy? Automatically, I had to come and see because there's a lot of kids that are around here. So that's the reason I followed him. I don't know what he was trying to hit on or what he was trying to do, but that's why I called the cops. Okay. I see a lot of stuff that goes on around here. And right. somebody just just right over here just got raped not too long ago. Right, yep. 
Is this the guy then that followed you, the guy that we yeah. arrested in the back of the squad car? Okay. Is that the bike that we have over there? Is that his? Did you see it? Did he have that pack on him still and everything? Okay. Okay. So just so I got it straight, you're walking down Portland Avenue on this side, so you're on the east side of the street, and he's biking going northbound, right? Mm -hmm. he, well, he was coming this way, then he turned around. Oh, so then he turned around, okay, and then started going back the other way. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then he comes up and he says, hey baby. hey, baby, to you, okay. I mean, did he keep coming closer to you, or yeah. is he saying that? Oh, yeah. And then once he started biking away, then you ran home to mom's? Okay. And did, did he did he follow you yeah. while you were running? Mm-hmm. But then once I got to the corner and started turning, he went straight. He did? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then he came back this way again? Mm hmm Okay. What other stuff did he say to you? That's all. I just say, baby. Okay. Did he do any motions with his hands or anything? No. How long you been living there? I think about three or four days, sir. Okay. Well, what do you mean you think? Because a little bit ago, you told me you're staying there. You've been staying there for a while. A while to me is like a week or two. About four days, I think. Four days, three, okay. Three or four days. Okay, you realize you're in violation of your your registration with the BCA? You're gonna go to jail for that too because you didn't register. Oh, I didn't realize that though. Yeah. I thought they told me five days. Mm-hmm. No, it's three. You are supposed to register your address within 72 hours. Oh, I didn't know that, officer. They you let you listen, probation. you do know that because you sign a form when you're released that states that on there specifically and I know you guys do, and they make sure that you understand that crystal clear. They told me five days. Okay, no, days. that is not the deal. That's what they are. So, split. all right. They just informed me that he is a registered sex offender. I'm gonna go talk to him some more and see uh, what else happened here. If you wanna go talk to the victim's family also. All right. We appreciate you guys calling us. He's gonna go to jail right now for the luring and then also for failure to register as a predatory sex offender. Um, at this point, he's violated his conditions of release. Hopefully, that's going to send him back to prison. He just dropped that right there. Just dropped it out of his right hand. You're doing him a favor by starting the car up for him to see if it'll run with him standing at the window with dope in his pocket. Turned out blue, therefore it's meth. We're headed to a call of a person with a gun. He's walking south on yep. in an alley. And uh, we got a couple complaints. Location for me? Uh huh? Dude, I ain't got nothing. It's in my house. I'm not talking to you. Put your, put your hands behind your back. You got anything else on you? No, it's just a lot in my cigarettes. 922, we're code four with four people. And these are the right parties. What was the address where that broken car window was? What are you doing walking around with that? I'm just doing some cans in my yard, man. It's illegal no, in the city. You, you weren't seen right here. You were seen up the block with all that, with that gun. No Copy. walking around with it. You they? shooting anything? No. Nah. You never shot it? No. Nope. Well, why would we be here getting a call then? You just said you were shooting cans in your yard, so that's cans shooting. Cans in my yard. I'm not right? going up, up a block and shooting, shooting that window. We got people that said you were. Sit up. Put your knee in. Up. Oh, there you go. Let's go to the car. So you start being honest with me, or do I got to go get witnesses to say that you were walking around with the gun no, up the alley? Honest. Are you afraid of getting in trouble because of the car window? No, man. I'm telling you the truth, man. You're telling me the truth? Yeah. I don't think you are, though. Right? I can't just listen. Man, I've been in my house all the time. That's not true. All right, we've already talked to two people in your yard that said you weren't in your yard the whole time. All right, that's what so if you, did, if you just keep lying, it's just not, not going to help you. It's going to show you're a liar. So then when you go to court, you're just going to be a big liar. You all right with that? Yeah, I guess so. Then if that's what they were saying. How long have you had the gun outside? For like two hours. Two hours? Yeah. And you just were in the yard the entire time? Yeah, man. Been shooting off a little can. A beer can. All right. Where's the beer can that you're shooting? Go look. It's in the back. Where in the back? I'll go look. Where in the back? By the peace tree. 
Okay. What's your first name? Jared. Spell it. G E R. All right. Be right with you. There's a car up the block here, about a half a block away from where we found the guy with the BB gun. And the caller said that he broke the window out with the gun. I don't know if he shot it or, or hit it. 922. 922, go ahead. The plate on the car is going to be 226. It has a broken back window out. We'll head back to the scene and then see if we can find the witness. She's, she was walking up and down the street. Did he, did he shoot the window out or did he break it with the, the rifle? They shot. Shot? OK, and it was the Asian guy that did it. What's his name, Gurr? Jack. You know why you're in this car today? You were caught shooting that gun off, broke out a back window of a car, people saw you do it. OK, and then we caught you with the gun in your hand. Ends up being a BB gun, still can't do that in the city of Minneapolis. OK, you know there's lots of kids running around? Yeah. Probably your own family yeah, out there, the side of the house. Yeah. What would happen if one of those BBs hit one of them or, or hit somebody else down the street? Yeah, I know okay. what you're People could get hurt. If they, yeah. if they got hit by that BB, then it wouldn't just be a BB gun charge, it'd be a real gun charge. Yeah. It'd be assault, OK? Yeah. You are going to go to jail tonight for to damaged property. It's a felony. Right. And for the gross misdemeanor charge of carrying the BB gun in public and discharging it. Right. You understand? Yeah. No questions? No questions. All right. You just got a text message while your phone was laying in there. It said, uh, I need a quake. Oh, man, it's like drug messaging, right? It's a blue four-door. I just blew a red light. About four or five occupants in the car. Hey, driver, step out. Come on back here to me. Change me on your back. You blew the stop sign back here, and then you kind of took off from me. You in a hurry? Did I take off from you? I'm sorry, I didn't even see you there. And yes, oh, you didn't? I Why did, are you I, in such a hurry? I did run the stop sign, and that was because I honestly was speeding. Yeah, you were flying. I was speeding, and I didn't have time to stop. If I would have squealed, I would have just squealed right through anyways. Oh, OK. And uh, we were just cruising, having a good time, and I just decided to speed a little bit. That was my fault, my bad. What would you do with the marijuana that's all over your shirt? Um, I honestly smoked earlier, I will not lie. Oh, OK. Did you throw it in the car here somewhere? Um, there is honestly bud laying all over the car, but I've had that in there for weeks. OK. I just did not bother to vacuum it out. Or get it off your shirt. OK. Why don't everybody just get out, because there's weed all over the place here. Okay. Uh, how are you, ma'am? Yeah. you have an ID with you? Yeah, here. Yeah, I've got one. OK. Go back here and hang out with him. I think he was in the process of rolling it when he saw us, and he didn't really know what to do. Hmm. Here's marijuana, a lot of marijuana stems, and some shake, a couple seeds here, some roaches. She was digging in her purse. Yeah. I yanked it out and set it on top. OK. Looks like you got some shrooms and a little bit of marijuana there. Mm -hmm. um, you just got a text message while your phone was laying in there. It said, uh, I need a quake. Oh, man, that's, that's like drug messaging, right? Right. So every now and then, you just kind of sell a little bit to kind of get I by? I don't really sell. I just help a friend. Oh, OK. Who's your friend that you would help? I don't really want to tell them. OK. All right, I'm not asking you to really snitch out your friends. Um, no. These are mushrooms? Yeah. Are they, any dec are they decent? Yeah. Yeah? It was my first time getting them. Yeah. OK. Uh, is this decent stuff, or is it kind of ditch weed? It's Reggie. It's what? Reggie, like regular weed. Oh, OK. Normal. Well, I got bad news. You got to go to jail tonight. OK. So just bring your hands up away from your body. Wow, I don't even know if the cuss will fit on you. Been in jail? I've never even been pulled over by a cop. Really? I'm kind of scared. <laughs> OK. How old are you? 18. Go back there and stand with Officer Lord. He's the guy probably holding your, your license. Come here, man. You've been smoking tonight, right? A few hours ago. Oh, right. while you were driving, you were rolling and smoking? My friends were, yeah. They were rolling up, and yeah, I smoked, yeah. And the leftover that we did not, the leftover weed that was not put in the blunt, 
French just decided to be dumb and dump on my head, and then I scraped it off and fell out of my shirt. Why were you driving that fast? You didn't? Did you even want to stop up there? Um, I actually had my foot on the brake. My, my friends just uh, saw me actually witnessed me starting to slow down, and I'm like, I, I can't stop. I'm going to skid right through it. Was you trying to elude me? No, I honestly did not see you behind me because my music was so up so loud that I did not hear the sirens. Oh, OK. OK. And well, I, I kept going because I was trying to get past the car because if I was, because I needed to be in the right lane anyways. Right. So if I was, if I was to slow down and try to uh, cross into lane, I was going to smash right into one of them. So I kept on speeding up to get past them. Oh. Rather than maybe using your brake. Yeah. Okay. Be because ah, that's I, cool. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. That makes sense. So yeah, right now you're under arrest for driving under the influence also. Three twenty-three. All right. Right now, you're just going to go for felony possession. Do you make any money selling? I don't sell. You don't sell? You just give to your friends if they need it? No, I help my friends. OK. When you say you help your friends, I mean, <laughs> explain that well, to I me. I have a friend that sells, and then I have people that hit me up so I can ask him for it. Oh, you're just kind of the middleman then? Yeah. OK. Eh? All right. Well, that's much better than just being the guy who sells. Do you think? I don't know. You don't know? I can tell you it's not. OK? You're on your way to jail. He jumped the fence. 34, northbound, uh, through the fences is where I have a witness say that he went. Okay, sir, did you see him go behind this White House? Yes, yeah, sir. I was okay. sitting as a light when he came flying I, around me, and the officer was right behind him, and I see him both slam on the brake. Bang, 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 bang. And I got out of the truck chasing him. And he was carrying at least a 45. Okay, and it was behind that house? Yes, sir. I'm positive okay. that's where we went over the fence. 334, I've got the house back here where the suspect went. I didn't know if K9 was aware, but we've also got a t shirt out here, the same house where the.
Was it your dog? Yeah. Got him? Yeah. He just led you right in there? Yeah, we done started a track down there on 40. Yeah. Come through the backyards and straight through all these backyards and went straight to the garage. I saw him pulling really hard. Yeah. I, I was happy to see that. That's good. I heard pow, 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 and then pow, 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 pow. Did he, get, did he get shots off? I, he got shots off, yeah. Okay. There's, shell, there's shell casings that I was um, kneeling on over there. This has been my third incident now where I've had an officer shot that I was just down the road. I just finished uh, handling a call with the officer, and um, he cleared, and as he's leaving the call, he noticed that there's this black vehicle right up there with a the back window shot out. He noticed it racing down the highway or down a side street and uh, remember that it was chased earlier tonight um, by a neighboring police department for uh, being taken in conjunction with like, an armed carjacking. So he started in pursuit, uh, just got an update on the officer and uh, he's gonna be fine. He was shot in the leg, but he's in good spirits and he looks to be okay. I'm trying to stop a possible DWI. It's a red two-door Missouri plate coming up on Nichols gonna go west toward Kansas. He's all over the road, failed to maintain lane. Uh, just hit a curb here on Nichols. 321 to 320. The passenger's gonna be a white female. It's a white male driver. 321, he's losing something out the back of his car. I don't know if he blew a tire, but he's throwing really good sparks all down Chestnut. It's extremely dangerous. He's going on oncoming traffic road. right there. Uh, 18 wheelers coming in. Hey, what's going from Airport Boulevard? Really need to get this guy shut down. He's dragging something from the undercarriage. He's smoking pretty bad right now. He's still throwing. He wrecked out. He flipped. Start an ambulance. It's on fire. Is there anybody else in that car? Is there anybody else in that car? Get him out of here. Get him away from him. Back him out. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Uh, let me down, let me down. Watch the gas, watch the gas. Watch the white Come smoke. On, man. Come on, man. That car's gonna blow up, boy. Is there anybody in this car? No, there's just two passengers. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Just lay down and be still. Why are you running? Stay on your butt, boy. Stay on your butt. If you get up, you're getting tased. Just cuffing. Listen, sit down, keep your feet out. Keep your feet out. Do it, do it. You're back. Get him and cuff him. Get your hand from behind your back. Get your hand out. Get your hand out. All right. Hold on, it ain't on, it ain't on. Okay. All right. I don't really know what's going on with him right now. Just trying to get him in custody. I'm gonna okay. check his waistband, make Am sure he doesn't have any weapons. Line? No, that's off to you. Okay, all right, thank you. Fine. Ma'am, what's your main complaint of pain right now? Everything in my mouth. Okay. My head. Does your neck hurt, your back hurt? Oh, yeah. Both of them? Okay, we've got an ambulance coming to check on you. Do you know why he started running from us? Uh, he's just supposed to take me to the gas station. Okay. <laughs> While you guys are running, did he, did he, did you tell him to stop? What what would he say when you told him to stop? He just had to get away. Do you know why? I don't. I swear. Okay. Uh, he wrecked out going about 90 miles an hour around this curve. Lost control. When we got here, it had, eject, it had ejected both of them out onto the ground right over here. The car was engulfed in flames. We had a couple officers put it out with some fire extinguishers. Uh, it took us a while to get the male driver in custody. What do you run for, dude? You want to tell us? Yeah. You're what? Yeah. Why were you running from the police? Yeah. Just now? Why were you driving? I was driving. 
You have warrants? No. Nope. Drugs? No. Nope. I don't know what you're running for, but it's not worth what could have happened right there. I mean, that should have very easily been a two fatality car accident. She almost got us into an accident. Not a criminal record at the age of 10. You can take him. Take him. Come on back in, buddy. Sit down. So we're looking for three male black juveniles throwing rocks over the overpass onto the street. One of the people that was struck by a rock is now chasing these juveniles. We're on the cell phone with them. 8370 County. I got the juveniles right here. Stop where you're at. Put your hands on the car. Put your hands on the car. All of you guys. What are you guys doing? Can I talk? To you? Yes, sir. Go ahead. First it was three of us. At first it was four. And then and then one of the guys said, I have to go. And then we I I took up some rocks in this like a little corner. We put rocks on. And um, we were throwing rocks. I used the day two with the wear up there and I was bringing up rocks. And then he said, he said, guys, a car stopped in reverse. Yeah, okay, okay, we got this. We got him. We're going to get he the almost, story. They almost got us into an accident, man. I got two little girls. I understand. They okay. Ran off the, uh, Did they hit your car? Yeah. They hit yeah. your car? Okay, how fast were you going when they struck you? We're doing the speed limit. Yeah. The speed limit? Which is, uh, so, which is 55? 55, yeah. We're doing okay. 55. How old are your girls inside the car? I got a nine year old and an eight year old. Okay, where did a rock strike? It struck the rear passenger door, right side. Okay. Did it shatter anything or break anything? No, it caused a nice little dent and scratch, yeah. So you could eyewitness them, right? You could point them out? OK. How far did you chase them? Uh, from 294 to here. So about, what, five blocks at least? It's going to be a felony charge on the three juveniles. Hi, ma'am. Which one's your son? Walter. Which one's Walter, the little guy? Brad. What happened, Walt? Step out, Walter. OK, you just got a punishment for going to tracks. You promised me, you right, promised me you were not going to the tracks again. You promised me that. That's why you got a punishment. You can take them. That's why you got a punishment, right? What did you tell me, Mommy? I promise, I promise, I promise I won't go to the tracks again, right? Am I right? You just got a punishment. I've been on punishment for one week. Mom. What? I was just taking one rock and then. No, no, taking rocks where? I was giving it to them. And what then were you? they threw and then they threw rocks and then they hit the man's car and then the man saw us three running. Wait, hit the man's car where? One where were the... you at? I was with them. Where were you at? On the train track. On the train track you promised me you weren't gonna go, right? They, they hit the vehicle on the highway, ma'am. I didn't hit it though. So that's why they're gonna be taken and you're gonna have to go over there and uh, sign for them? To go to jail? You're not going to jail, but you're gonna have to go get processed. This is a very serious thing. I had a criminal record at the age of 10. Are you serious right now, Walter? That wasn't my fault. You can take him. Okay. Take him. Come on back in, buddy. Sit down. Louis, put the window up, please. We're going to process them, and then you're going to have to sign them out. OK? What if I want to sign them out? You're going to have to, because uh, you're the parent, and you can't stay over? No, we can't. I wish we could. It'll be a lot easier. Yeah. yeah, I've been really wanting something like this, too. <laughs> I'm glad you're out here, though. That means you care. And he seems like a good kid. Just bad mistakes and I don't know. Wrong crowd. Exactly. Bad friends. I'm going to check for the damage where uh, the rock struck the car. It appears it struck right here. Nice little dent in there. I don't see it anywhere else. But going at 55 miles an hour, luckily, it didn't go through the window and strike one of the kids in the back. Whose mother are you? Which kid? I'm Maurice's mother. Maurice's, OK. The one in the purple? Yeah. OK. Yeah, they admitted to throwing rocks. They were running and huffing and puffing. That's where I uh, encountered them, right there in the corner, running from the complex. I'll let you talk to your son briefly right now. But no yelling and screaming, though. Wait till you get home for that. <laughs> you did that. OK. I ain't do it. No, you did. I didn't. The freak did it. Even if he did do it, you know what? You was around him. That make you just as guilty. But I ain't do it, though. That wasn't me. You in the house to this time next year. I need to You know, you could have killed somebody. I ain't do it. You was with him. But I ain't do You it. was with him. That's so, just so as he, bad. So he could That's somebody. just as bad. I'm glad you guys showed up. I know it's an unfortunate situation, but it shows that you guys care. Those are good kids that just made a bad choice.
Get out. I don't want you here. You're not supposed to be here. I gave her all my money. She comes to Texas with the bat, and then he grabs the bat, and now he's going to jail. Right now we're going to a domestic disturbance. Uh, day shift was out there earlier today. A subject that was assaulting some kids. Uh, they couldn't find him earlier, but apparently he's back. 11. 11. Hi there. Are you guys part of this? Yeah, I'm not. This is my house. This is your house? What's your name? Lynn. Okay. You're Lynn? Yes. What's going on? Are you a landlord? No, I rent this house. Y you rent this house? Yes. And who are they? Those, that's my sister and her boyfriend. Okay. And earlier I had an incident. He ended up strangling one of my kids, both of my kids, okay. around his arm. I wasn't home, but okay. my kids got marks and everything. The police already know about it and everything. And I'm trying to get them out of my house. He just hit me in my face and everything. Okay. Uh, besides him punching you in the face, has there any been other kind of Well, he was upstairs breaking stuff, and I literally went upstairs because I don't want him here. They, they were supposed to be gone. I literally okay. took my bat up there to scare him to get out. Okay. Because I don't want him here. I wasn't going to touch him with it, right. but he went and grabbed me, and then he put my head, my hand. This that was this morning. Just now. Who hit you in the head? She was hitting her with her palm. And she hit me with a pop, too, when she threw it in the room. And you probably realized you know my hair, though, what? I just went up there, and I said, get out. I don't want you here. You're not supposed to be here. You hurt my kids earlier. Y'all, my, my son could not breathe earlier. Call me. Yeah, well. Just up here. No, we're just going to walk you to my patrol car right now. Just walk. Got anything on you that you're not supposed to have? No, not at all. Nothing I can stick to. I'm going to jail. Right Don't now, know yet. Don't know. But we have to figure out what's going on here. Figure out. Because we've been here twice today, so. Have a seat. Watch your hut. Yep. Yeah. You came to my work right after someone said they're called the cops. You came to my work crying, saying someone's called the cops on him. And he said that the boys grabbed him by the belt, and he fell down the stairs, and he landed on him. We were, we were coming home to get some of our clothes because we were leaving for the weekend. And she comes to tags us with a bat, and then he grabs the bat, and now he's going to jail. This morning? Okay. When the kids came over and what happened? The little boys from next door came over to my house. Mm -hmm. They were, he was crying and he said. Is that the he, older one? The older one. Okay. And, he, and I said, what's wrong? And he said, he choked me and you could see his handprint around the little boy's throat. Oh, really? You could literally see the imprint. And I said, who choked you? He said, Dusty just choked me. And then the little one said, yeah, and I was trying to help my brother and he got him too. And they had red marks all over the place. And so I said, stay in my house. I'm calling your mom. Uh, when you say all over the place, where? Well, he had him. He had the handprint around his neck, and the other little boy had red marks all down his chest. Uh, okay. And that's when I told him to stay in my house. Okay. And I was try I was trying to get a hold of their mom. Not even five minutes later, she showed up. And I'm going to jail for uh, domestic. I know, and they're supposed to, and they're supposed to. I know. How am I gonna get out? I gave her all my money. I, 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 I you're fine. You're gonna go see. The, you're gonna. Go. Dude, all I did is they grabbed my belt and I went I down with me. How long you guys been staying together in the same house? They've only been here probably about a month. All right. Uh, well, I would say maybe a month and a half now. Okay. She is stating that she doesn't want to stay here anymore. That's fine. And that's that's fine with you. Yep. Um, I mean, I don't have a problem. With and her. I'm gonna and I'm gonna tell them not to come back here. I don't want him anymore. here. He's dangerous to my kids. How much is my bond going to be tomorrow? No. Can you save every penny you got? You I'll go get you out. I'll get you out. Please. I'll get you out, okay? Please. Do nothing. I'll right get now. you out. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you too. Hey, Dustin, do you understand why you're being arrested? They're making accusations that you put your hands on interpreter. I put my hands on what? On your nephew? On a what? On your nephew. I didn't put her hands on her nephew, I swear to God. Okay, but that's what you're being accused of. So... That's why you are being arrested. Do you understand that? I'm being arrested because they said I choked him or something? You're, yes. What? Oh my God, okay. Thank you for being cooperative. Money's the problem. Right now, we're responding for a report of a male white spray painting the side of a building. He's vandalizing the property. Two male whites right there. Grab them. Let's 
going on, guy? That ain't gang related. You have paint on your fingers, sir. Yeah. There's black paint on this I'm wall. I'm an artist. This isn't a. This isn't an art school here. Well, I'm not saying that I painted that. <laughs> There's black paint on the wall, and you have black paint on your fingers. Yeah. I mean, I don't have any spray paint or anything like that. 4321. Can you give me the description one more time? Hey, you have male white and blue. You must be just short. It's not that I can prove in court, but there's no doubt in my mind that you're tagging these buildings, all right? I can't call it back yet. I'd like somebody to come over and ruin this, anything, something that you own. You think people want to see this stuff on the side of walls? Maybe they need to see it. Yeah, well, you don't own the building, don't deface it, all right? You want to paint on something, paint on something that's, that belongs to you. Keep that in mind. I wish you would. Got a point, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Where do you stay at? I am an American citizen. That's where I stay. Love my country. Love where I live. It's a good time to be alive. You've been painting something else tonight? Is that why your fingers are black? No. How'd your fingers get black? Because I painted the wall, sir. You painted this wall, didn't you? Yes, sir. Why I would you do that? Over it again. For artistic value, really, honestly. No other reason. What, what, are you, what are you trying to express? I mean, just explain yeah. it to us. OK. If you read it, it says, now I've got a vision I want to see it through. What, what's your vision? What is your vision? I just want to say what I want to say. I want to express my freedom of speech. I want to, okay. you know. Uh, you know, there, there's nothing wrong with expressing your freedom of speech and everything else. There's nothing Except wrong. if I got to pay money to, you know, get on a billboard or get it on TV. But, which is but on other people's property, you see the problem with it? I mean, really, I mean, your parents' house, what if somebody came over and rode all over it? Would I'd help them paint over it, but I wouldn't I mean, be stressed. I really wouldn't be stressed. That's you think they would be? Maybe, but. I mean, how do you think they would feel? They might feel uh, salty about it, but. I mean, it would cost them money. Money is not the object here. Well, Money's the problem. Money's the problem. We live our lives in pursuit of money, and that is a problem, yes. All right. Well, it's definitely going to cost whoever owns this building money to get rid of this black paint on the side it of the wall. It can easily paint over with white paint. You think? Yes. I, I hope you're right. I honestly Are you going to buy the paint to paint over it? I got the paint to paint over it. Obviously, I got the paint to paint it. I got the paint to mm. paint over it. I'll do it any time. Well, turn around. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. You can pay it through probation. Yeah. Can I just pay it through uh, spray painting it over in a clear white? That'll be up to the judge, bud. Do you work or go to school or what? I am about to get a job, sir. I do not work currently. I go to school at University of Cincinnati. You go to school at the University of Cincinnati? Yes, I do, sir. Uh, this is the kind of conduct that they teach you? No, this is not the kind of conduct they teach. This is the kind of conduct they do on your own. Let's go. You're, you're considered an adult in the state of Ohio once you're 18. You're a grown man, sir. Right? And grown men don't go around painting things. I have a Some do. I have a two-year-old daughter who uses chalk to mark on the side of the building. Yeah, but... she's a child. Yeah. But uh, not only two-year-old children do it, sir. All right. As you can see them this evening. But right now, you're under arrest for criminal damaging. Yes, sir, I am. You're going to go to court. And uh, I'm sure the judge will have you pay whatever it costs to get all this paint off the sidewalk and the walls, OK? Yes, sir. Maybe the judge will have him come out and That'd be nice to get him out here to spill the sidewalks. Put him on the graffiti detail. And he hit me right in my lips. I said, oh, what did I do? I didn't do that. Yeah, you did. We have good citizens that saw you do it and turned you in. We got a male and female fighting over here. I'm gonna stop. We're gonna get another male raving us down right here. 242 to radio. Put us out of 3069. What's up? Nothing. You gotta take it somewhere else. Uh, yeah. We're going home yeah. now. Yeah. I'm there. sitting there. This guy comes over and started blasting me, beating me. That guy did? Yeah. That's not. I didn't do anything. I was just sitting there. I didn't talk to him, I didn't talk to him, to okay. his girlfriend. Hang tight. He's got to take off. He just got punched by a male. 
and the male's gonna try to take off from us here, I believe. Okay. He'll probably be back in that bar. 4-2, we got a male running from us on Clark, going uh, westbound. My partner's on foot. He's right there. Where's he at? You know what? You know what I'm talking about. Put your hands up there. You hit me first, for real. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, where'd he go? I don't know. You don't know? All right, well, we'll, take, right you, we'll, we'll take you and Look, tell us where he's at. I don't know where he's at, yeah, for real. Don't. No, I don't. Oh, yeah, she was. No, I don't know. Yeah. I live right here, for real. You are together with him. Where do you live at? He was asking right you if he knew me. Corner. I don't know where he's at, for real. No, don't seriously. You saw I, what happened. No, seriously. You I, I, I'm coming home. I am right there. <laughs> you want to search her real quick? All right, we're coming now. They got him. We got to locate on them. Thank you. So we're about to get this mail. We the got suspect. Him. Yeah, Danny. Gracias. Um, as it started, we were going to a 911 hang up call, and this gentleman waved us down that he was assaulted. So we have his girlfriend and the male. We're here where we started at. He backtracked, came back to the bar. 41 Adam. What exactly happened when you. When you... I just. I walked in. Mm -hmm. And pulled the chair, sat down, and he was with this girl. So I, I, I ordered a beer. The beer came. One sip I took, as soon as I put the beer down, I felt like so, the building just collapsed on me. He was standing right behind me, you know, preparing a punch. I, I, I'm on the way because, you know, right. I, I was like, right. you know, I'm. I'm relaxed. He and he hit me. You know, I shook it and tried to stand up. He crossed me and another one right on my lips. I said, oh, what did I do? What is this? Who is this? What's going on? Right. Then he went around the block, changed into a shirt and a, a cap. And then I sat down at the bus stop. And when I sat down at the bus stop, I said, well, there's awful lot of cops out here tonight for some reason. He said, well, why are you worried about it? Well, I looked down at his stomach and seen that he was breathing hard, so that indicated to me that it had to be the gentleman that ran out of the bar. Right. That's when I, I uh, flagged down an officer and they arrested him. Look, is that her? Yeah, that's her. That's her? Yeah. Okay. That's her. All right. She's the one. He probably wanted to show up for his girlfriend. All right. Well, wow, that's. All right. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm All fine. right. Go yeah, enjoy, you enjoy your night, okay? I'll try. I'll All right. Try. <laughs> Book them both on the assault charges, and uh, because she was supposedly chasing him okay. along with our male suspect. So you went what? You went and changed and everything? I didn't do nothing. Yeah, you did. I saw you. You, you, saw you took off on me. I went. I was walking from 25, 55. No, you weren't. You, you ran. You just can't go sit, sitting there punching people all in the head if all you want. We got witnesses. We have good citizens that saw you do it, and citizens turned you in. There are people that do care. And even your girlfriend even ID'd you. Yeah, have you. Enjoy jail. Officer made a traffic stop up here on High Drug Corner. Was uh, during the stop flagged down by a resident in an apartment complex, and she stated that someone pulled a knife on her in the uh, complex. So we're we'll see what's going on here. We got two things going on here. These guys are good down here. We're gonna go up to this apartment complex and check out the person with a knife call. Okay, where's she at? She's up there. That door should be open. Right, right. Right there. Going in people's apartment. 25, we're making an entry. 21. Assistance. Assistance. Norwood at Lawn. Norwood at Lawn. Get out of the car! 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 We got a call. Uh, so 
subject we're using in a traffic stop. Apparently, fighting with officers during a traffic stop. Pursuit northbound Montgomery fighting with officer. Apparently had some cocaine on his uh, person. That's why he's running. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's trying to strike officers now. He just tried to strike uh, Officer Manning. He's going to be wanted for a felonious assault on a police officer. Just turn to that. We got a school here, and sub suspects pulling into. He's going to get blocked in. Okay. Subject in, in custody. Hey, did he have uh, cocaine on him? Yeah, okay, that's okay. what we got out. That's what we got. That's why he took off the circle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, 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 yeah, I'm cooperative. They just got scared the hell out of me. Putting everybody in danger. Well, I'm, I was like the stop old Germany in the 40s or something. These guys are telling me they want to search my car. Go ahead. So I got nothing in the car. Why'd you run? For that little bit. I got scared. Why? You scared That's all me. you had. That's that little bit. You would have been. I don't know what he gave me. I just got the out of there. Who gave you? He said for, that was for the ride. I don't want that. But I got. Oh, the guy you dropped off? I just put it in my pocket. I don't know what the he gave me. All right, bud. I don't, I don't know what, what's going on. You know? All right. You guys me what happened? We pulled him over for improper display on his car. I got up to him and I was asking him what, you know, what was going on, where he was at, stuff like that. I asked him if he had anything. He told me he didn't. I said, okay. I asked him again. He said, no, go ahead and check. Got him out of the car and I checked and pulled a little bag of uh, crack, tiny little bit of crack out. And then he started fighting with us. Hit, he hit Chris. That's when we called for assistance and uh, somebody else came out, tased him and Main thing is nobody got hurt. All right. All right. Good Thanks. Night. Now we're going to transport the prisoner and uh, start the paperwork. We got a call at an intersection straight ahead up here that there's a couple of juveniles possibly spray painting, tagging. So we're going to go up here and see if we can uh, catch them. When, when I got one subject running towards Hamlet. Stop! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Straight down! Put your hands right behind your back! You give them in the mom know I'm going to jail? What are you doing over in that building? There's a mattress in there that I was trying to lay down on. So you're breaking in that building? Does that yeah. building belong to you? No, sir. Are you trespassing in that building? I yes guess. or I'm no? I'm sorry, yes, sir. I don't belong in there, I'm sorry. I didn't know where to go, sir. I'm going to jail, aren't I? We're going to figure out that here in a minute, buddy, OK? OK, I'm on probation, though. Why are you on probation? Burglary habitation. Burglary? Yes, sir. Because you kicked me out. Well, usually with your medication, you have some kind of prescription bottle with you, guy. I know. I tried telling her that, but she took him. Stand up. Come on. Can you let my mom know that? I'm going Let's go to straight out of here. You need to have a seat in the back of this car. Okay. Where's your mom live at? Right here, my, where that guy's at. That's my little brother. Let me, let me ask you something real honestly. Yeah. OK? Yes, sir. Are you on parole or probation right probation. now? Probation. And you're on probation for the burglary? Yes, sir. Okay. 
basically what you're looking at is evading detention, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> and possession of a dangerous drug for those pills that you got on but you right I got, now. They're my prescriptions, sir. Well, if they're your prescriptions, that's something that you're going to have to genuinely prove in court. Because right now I've got you with a baggie of pills wrapped up in a sandwich so, bag, okay? Is there any, okay, is there that's, any? Well, just listen okay. to me, Gilbert, okay? That's, that's commonly how how street drugs are packaged mm -hmm. and, and held, okay? okay? Get people that have legitimate uh, uses for prescription medication. They keep them in their bottles and they keep all that stuff with them and they keep the paperwork straight, okay? They don't just carry them around in a sandwich bag wrapped okay. up and stuffed to, in their try pocket. Try to tell okay? that to my wife because she don't want to, she don't believe me. Where's your wife at right She's now? She's at home. Okay, why are you not at home with your wife, Because partner? we had got separated mm -hmm. and she don't want me there. She said if I go there, she's gonna call the cops on me. Okay, where do you live at? Right now I'm trying to find a place. Find a place. My mom don't want me here. I don't know where to go. And that's why I was in there to see if I could sleep. All right. So what am I? Well, I'm going to jail. Yeah, you're gonna go to jail. For how long? Okay. Well, you'll you'll get to see a judge and you'll get to get a bond. Okay. Sit tight for me, Gilbert. Okay. All right. Hey, I just need to talk to mom. That's that's fine. Could he come to you to find somewhere to stay for the night? Well, the reason I don't want him coming over here. Yes, ma'am. He's taken my daughter's MP3 player. Okay, so he's stolen from you guys before? Yeah. Why does he steal? Why does he have know. a theft problem? I don't know why he does that. Okay. I don't know, but I don't want the laws here because I'm staying there after my sister's house. Mm -hmm. I'm paying rent. Okay. I don't want no problems with the law. Okay. I just got off the phone with his wife, and his wife wants to know, too. Where he's at or what's going on? What's going on, because okay. I told her he, they got him in the police car. Yeah, and well, says, you can let her, he's going to go to jail for running from me, and then he also got some, some things, like I said, some things that are, were found in his possession that are illegal that he's gonna be charged with also. Once he gets a bond set, you know, if his wife or whoever's willing to come to come set a bond for him, that you know that's up to her, she'll be able to do so. Okay? All right, I appreciate your time. All right, thank you. Okay, here's the deal, man. I talked to mom. All right. Okay, she understands what's going on. Mm -hmm. She honestly doesn't understand what you're doing over here either. She doesn't understand why you would run from me like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's gonna let your wife know what's going on tonight, and why you're going to jail, why you're being arrested, okay? Okay, what is this, sir? I uh, explained it to you. It's gonna okay. be for the evading. Okay, okay, I got okay. a question. Okay, if, if, if I could get a hold of my wife and tell my wife to bring my pills bottle mm -hmm. to the account, to downtown, would That's, I drop that charge? That can be done later on, sure. Okay. 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 Um, but you, you understand right now, just having, you know, random pills wrapped up in a sandwich bag, jammed in your back pocket, just well, doesn't, see, that doesn't cut it, okay? okay see, I know that. Mm -hmm. Try telling that to her. She's gonna get a hold of your wife. Your wife's probably gonna be willing to come down there and post a bond for you and get you out, okay? Stop. Stop. Why'd you drop around me like that? Get out of my face. Let me go. You wanna act Stop. like this, you're gonna get treated like this. Stop. I got called by an off-duty officer. He's telling me there's a couple of guys smoking marijuana in a blue car up here by the park. Five seven, go fifty four. Go ahead. Stop. Stop. Five seven, stand by. Five seven, be out with seven three seven. We're at twenty nine at Tyler. Go ahead and start me on the unit. What's your problem, buddy? Why'd you drop around me like that? It doesn't matter if I have my lights on or not, man. A car, a cop car pulls right up in front of you, and then I point at you and yell at you, stop. Let me see some ID. Y'all got any marijuana in the car? Because I smell it. Go ahead and step out of the car. Do you have any weapons on you or anything? Turn around, chance behind your back. Step right around here and have a seat. And step out. Turn around, chance behind your back. The reason y'all are getting put in cuss is because he tried to drive off from me and because it's just me right now. And there's three of y'all, okay? Step back, step right over here and have a seat. Right. Have a seat. Go and step out. Okay. Step right back over here. Ah. Kristen, chill, please. Have a seat Don't. on the curb right there. It's fine. You need to calm down. I'll tell you. Uh, okay, I was gonna go I'll ahead. Go ahead. Five dollars, like a little blunt, five dollars. 
and we were smoking. I'll tell you that. Okay. That's it. Who was me. smoking it? You, everybody? No, just me and him over there. Just you and him? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's his Did you already smoke it all, or is there any more in the car? Well, there's a little bit. There's a little bit more in the car? There's, yes, there's okay. Little. Okay. I thank you for your honesty, okay? The driver's sitting in the middle. He admitted that they've been smoking some weed. The girl's only 15. So we're going to have to go over and get her mom. She said they don't have a phone at the house. What'd y'all do with that marijuana? Well, we were smoking it and then got stopped, so. Did y'all throw it out or what'd y'all do with it? No, no, sir, no, sir. Where's no, it at? It was uh, in the cup. Did you check the cup on the dash? The marijuana yeah, was in the cup. Yeah, they dropped it in. It's... And you, young lady, you're 15. You ought to know better. I didn't do anything. Give me something, okay? Whatever. Look, you're about to get out of my face. Get out of my face. If you want to act like this, you're going to get treated like this. Do you understand? Turn around and have a seat. She needs a misdemeanor sight to be for possession of uh, tobacco. Okay. She's 15. You influenced her by smoking dope around a 15-year-old girl, which is endangering a child, which could be construed as a felony offense. Do you have anything in your pockets you're not supposed to have? Stand up for me. He was. He was? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sir. His driver's license is no good. OK. I'll stick him in jail on traffic. OK, well. Yes, sir. Driver's license is no good. How? I don't know. Is your driver's license? You yes, sir, it is good. I got it at Boys no, last year. His DPS just told me it's not good. You're going to give her a misdemeanor site for possession? Tonight, yeah, though. and then we'll release her to mom. Here's mom. The driver and the passenger are going to be going to jail for uh, possession of paraphernalia. The driver also for the uh, for his driver's license being suspended. Oh. As far as your daughter goes, she's getting a citation today for minor possession of tobacco. She had made the statement that prior to leaving your house, you told her don't be out doing drugs and don't be doing nothing stupid, get in trouble with the cops. And exactly. Apparently, she took y'all for granted. Yeah. Okay. We got one of our officers behind a stolen vehicle, so we're gonna get behind him and get some other units in the area so we can stop him, get everybody in custody if they don't run. Robert, turn off the vehicle! Put the keys outside the door, drop them! Hey, drop the keys! Hey. Robert, from the outside of the door, open it up. Keep your hands in the air where we can see them. Okay. Walk backwards. Stop. Go down to one knee. Go down to your other knee. Put your hands behind your back. Bend over at the waist. Don't move. Look away from me. Look towards the van. I got the car covered. Stolen vehicle right now. We're just going to check it. Looks like the keys were in it. She took the keys out when we stopped her. It might be what we call a dope rental, crack rental. Somebody lends their vehicle to somebody for some crack or whatever the drug of choice is. And then they just never bring it back. You don't know what's going on? Sir, I do not. Whose car is that? It's a guy named Ty. He brought that car to me yesterday to my house. He said that he wanted me to drive his van while he went and got his car. He picked up his car in Grapevine yesterday. Hmm. Okay, well, why did he let you borrow the vehicle? What did you need it for? I didn't. I didn't ask him to borrow it. He brought it to so me. So you didn't think anything was up when you just said, here, take this vehicle for me? No, I didn't. I, I, I didn't know what to think. I was ha so happy I didn't have to walk anymore. Yeah, somebody's hair on those things. I was afraid to put my fingers in here. Oh, what do you know? Yeah. Yeah, I found that. Push rod and the crack pipe. And the crack pipe. I want to cooperate now. She's had to change the She's slipping her. She's trying to slip her cuffs. We got a sock. We're going to need a sack. Spit sock. Where at? Quit moving. No, let me go! Quit moving. Let me go! You hurt my neck again. Quit moving. You can breathe, you're talking to me. You keep slamming your head into the car. We don't have Let me go! I didn't do this! Don't 
Don't try to kick the off, you I understand wouldn't me? Hurt job. Okay. Shut up. I'm just making sure. Shut up. I just know. <laughs> I'm not going down for this. Period. Didn't I explain everything to you? No, you did. Yes, I did. <laughs> These things are hurting. Get them well, quit struggling the against them. They won't. Stand up. Help. I got the light. You just hook them up. Sit back. Ow! Relax, Melody. You're choking me, you stupid. Let go of my arm! Let go! Oh. Oh. Chill out. My arm, my Chill out. Relax. Oh. Relax. My wrists are bleeding! Okay. That's because you're moving Let... now. Now she's decided to start resisting transport, so we're trying to buckle her in so she can't hurt herself or damage the Please car. Please let go of my arm! You stupid I can't breathe. Okay, there you go. Relax. Relax. No! She's going to be transported down to our city jail. Hopefully, she'll get down there without damaging the vehicle or hurting herself. Hey, Mike. Yeah, just give her a little bit of air. It might calm her down, too. Okay, I'm going to put that in a little bit of air. Clean it. Here we go. Back in this particular area, we've got uh, girls that prostitute and guys that prostitute back behind these uh, smaller motels along the boulevard here. She yeah, walked across the street. Better. You couldn't tell what Jordan. 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 Hey, come here. I don't know. What are you doing? You're walking up to cars. I'm, that's my uncle. That's your uncle. Yeah. So when I stop him, he's gonna tell me he's your uncle. Stand yeah. right there. Yeah, I'm, that's my uncle. Hey, pull over. That's your uncle. Yeah. He looks pretty white. Uh, Sit on the hood of my car right there, dear. Hey, 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 hey. Four six four. I got someone running. Hey, stop. <laughs> On the ground. Don't move. Four, six, four on the northwest night. I uh, run. Get down. Get down. Get on the ground. Over. Uh, I did this. Uh, I'm going to Park County. Four six four. I can't go to jail. You got one in custody for running just uh, south of the AISD building that houses the buses. I'm trying to roll over there. Can you? Can you please Come on. Got your feet ready? Yeah. Get your foot on you. Okay. Come on. How about? Ready? Okay. One, two, two three. three. There you go. Can you get my shoe and stuff? I'll get your shoes. Make sure my money and stuff is in there. Why are you running from me? Because the fact that I don't want to go to jail. So you run? Yeah, because I ain't did nothing Hold wrong. still. Hold still. I'm going to make one to jail. You got out of jail. You got to get to jail. Oh, Lord. Flash it to me, too. I'm going to Port County now. I'm going to Port County. Can you get Come my stuff? Yeah, I'll get it. Come here. Can you get my stuff? Can you get my stuff, please? Can Stick you get her in my your stuff, car. Please. I'll get your stuff. I don't want to go to the gym. Put the car over there. Yeah. There's the taser wire. One hitter and hit that purse, obviously. The other one, I think, actually hit her in the arm, but uh, didn't make a connection. Yep. Here's her Potter County wristband, a little crack pipe. Is there a bullet in there? No, there's no bullet in there. No, it's not going to hurt. You didn't feel it go in, did you? No, you ain't going to feel it coming out either. Hold that light. Right? Yes, sir. Okay, hold still. So you didn't feel that, did you? 
Turn around. Let me see the front of you. Wait. Let me see your face. You're not banged up anywhere in your face, are you? Is it a wig you're wearing? No, it's. It's your hair? Yeah. How come you? What are you doing out here? What am I doing? Yeah, you're talking to people in cars that you don't even know. No, um, teachers, um, I got bills to pay or whatever, and um, I have kids to take care of, and I'm trying to take care of my kid. My kid needs a diaper, so I was out here doing what I do. And what's that? Prostituting? No. Okay. What are you doing? Um, I have a boyfriend that's supposed to be picking me up like five miles from here. Five. And, yeah, and I was waiting for him, and my boyfriend name is Raven. So what are you doing, flagging this guy down? Um. He stopped me and um, he gave me five dollars, so I took it and I don't care. I don't turn down no money. What did he give so, you five dollars for? Five dollars? I don't know. He said, "Here, you give me five bucks." Yeah, he just said, "Give me five bucks." He gave me five bucks. So you're not out here prostituting? No. You're not. I don't know. We, we both were. I don't know. I'm not. Okay. Well, you understand you're going to jail, right? Yeah. From running for me, for being in the street in the crack pot. Okay. All the witnesses out here say that you were the one driving, right? No, it wasn't on me. You got out of the car screaming and everything no. else and then took off running. It was, I was the passenger. Uh, responding to a major traffic accident, a uh, vehicle versus a motorcycle, uh, the callers on scene are saying that the motorcycle driver is down and that a Hispanic or white female has run from the scene of the second vehicle that was involved. They load him up. The guy in the, the, right here in the, in the red hat right behind you by that dryer, uh -huh. he got a full description of her. So All right. Hey, man, what's the, what, is, what does she look like? She's got a gray T-shirt okay. and blue jeans, brown hair. Hispanic, up white, I, do we know? She looks white, but she took off running this way. OK. So. And we didn't see where she went after she went running. She, she went through there. I was dealing with him. Hey, Vaughn, is she in this one? Jessica drove my car. Please tell me she didn't kill anybody. Uh, no, she didn't, she didn't kill anybody. Okay, thank you. Hey, who's Jessica? Thank you, God. What? Jessica was her name. It's a friend that I know of in the bar. She drove uh, my car. <laughs> okay. You know that all the witnesses out here say that you were the one driving, right? No, it wasn't on me. Okay, I'm saying all the sober witnesses out here are saying that you were the it one driving. It was not me driving. Okay, that's fine. I am not the one driving. I, I'm not saying you are or didn't. I I'm telling you. That all the witnesses out here say that you got out of the car, ran over to no. a house over here screaming and no. everything else, and then took off running. It was, I was the passenger. OK, then why did you run from the police? Because I ran, because I was, you didn't know who was in the truck. I didn't know what to do. People don't run when they know what to do. I didn't know what to do. That's not normal. That's not a normal response. I didn't know what to do. I really didn't know what to do. I've never been in that kind of situation. I really have never been in that kind of but situation. But you're not having any problem now that you're sitting here talking to us, I'm telling us who was driving and what right happened. Now, man. That's what I'm saying, though. I'm scared to death. Have her step out. Hey, hey step out. Okay. I'll get out. Step, step right over here by out. me, Amy. Stand over here next to this officer. Yes, sir. Right here. Look straight at that light right there. I can't. OK. Hey. OK. The witnesses say that you were the one driving. So you were the passenger in the car? Yes, sir. And Jessica was driving? Yes, sir. Where does she live? I'm not quite sure. She's one of my cousin's ex-girlfriends. Okay. And you met her at the bar tonight? Is that what you said? Yeah, I saw her at the bar, yeah. And you saw her at the bar, and then what? And she drove me home. Where's home? My, I live at 3260. Why are you over here at 17th and Western? Because I was driving her home. You were driving her home? Or she was driving herself home. Okay, you need to start being honest. It's yeah, fixing that's, them. I mean, I was going to stay the said night it. with her. I was going to stay the night Okay, but you just said I was driving her home. Well, my, OK, my cousin Alex lives with my grandmother. You just now said to me I was driving her home. You no, just now, OK, that's not what you home. said, though. That's what I you, mean. OK, that's not what you said. Lying about what happened running after you nearly kill somebody after no. you're driving, no. that's not, not good. OK, all. I'm just no. I'm just letting you know. Not I'm just letting you know. OK, I'm just letting you know. That was not right. That was well, the funny thing about that is she's got an injury to her left arm, upper bicep, and you got this blood over here on this side that extends out here in an area where maybe she had her arm hanging out when she crossed the line. Uh, Amy, listen to me. Here's what's going to happen. Listen to me. 
I'm listening. Everybody out here, including me, believes you were driving that vehicle. Okay. We're going to take your blood That's and we're going to test it for the, the amount of alcohol that's in your system. And it's going to show that you're over the legal limit and you're going to go to jail for it, okay? okay. So that's what's going to happen. All right? I just talked to the uh, officers that are out the hospital with the guy that was on the motorcycle. Uh, they say he's probably going to live, but he's possibly going to lose a leg. Don't drink and drive, but people do it every day, and this is the result of it. Yes, I deserve to go to jail because I ran in the store and I grabbed a 16 ounce. What happened to the one? I ended up breaking out the window. My son didn't want to fight or nothing. We just got sent to a uh, disturbance call. The trailer park reportee is advising that uh, people are fighting. They're, she's afraid they're going to hurt her. 43 Frank 30, have the other unit step it up. Get your hands out of your pockets. Stop. 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 Get down on the ground. You too, brother. Get down. Get down, hands out. That's fine, get down. Get down, all the way down, fella, like I said. I need this boy here. Be quiet, be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Okay? Just stay loose, stay cool. Yeah, I'm the police, get down. Frank, 30 units are out. We got two detained, we're under control now. I didn't expect my father to go psycho on me and my aunt. What store is he allegedly robbed? Down here, down here, the people know me. He went in there, grabbed beer, stole beer, I ran down the street. When? So he didn't just rob? Now. Just now. He just, he just stole some beer? Yeah, he ran the store with the beer. With it. They know that's my son. You know, I came Can y'all hold this? Let me go check on the trailer, because whoever was calling. What trailer are you in, 16? 16. All right, just so stay loose. I'll be She's right down there back. giving him pills. Sheriff's office. Three four twenty nine. I have it already. Hey there, you okay? <laughs> huh? You scared me. You're scared? Yeah. You okay? Come here. <laughs> Come here. Can you sit down or no, babe? Yeah. He, yeah. He, I, I locked the doors and I don't I didn't want them biting in my head. Yeah. And Paul, he he double fist and started breaking out my window. Who's and Paul? It, is oh, Paul the young one or the, the older, older one? The older one? Yeah. Does he live here? No. Uh, so why is he here tearing up your stuff? Well, I, I was in the process of moving stuff. You okay. Know, I just didn't live here. Is anybody else here? No, just me and my disability dog back there. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And it's just his son, you know. His son didn't want to fight or nothing. Didn't. But Paul wouldn't have that, huh? No. Uh, yes, ma'am. All right, Trish, hang on right here, okay? I'll be right back. Tell me what happened here tonight, Nathan. Well, me and my father went out in the convenience store, and he was going to buy a six-pack of beer, and he's been drinking. I mean, he has alcohol problems. So okay. He's been drinking since 8 this morning. I haven't seen my father in four years, okay. and right. I give him I give him $5 to get himself a six-pack, right? Okay. And then he, he doesn't do that. And then I got in a rage, and yes, I deserve to go to jail because I ran in the store and I grabbed a 16 ounce. But when I ran down the street, the lady came down and said, just give me $3. I gave her $10 and she went on her way. Okay. And I took my 16 ounce back home. And when I got home, he came home. Okay. And hit me in my face. All right. And then he punched out my aunt's window. Uh-huh. All right, Nathan, you, I'll be back in a minute. Thank you, sir. Okay. What's going on here tonight, Paul? Let me hear your side of it now that everything's calmed down. Uh, I just went to the store up there, and my, my son, the lady came out there, and she goes, you know, your son just stole beer out of the store. Mm -hmm. And he comes back up there and tells me that he paid her the money for the beer that he stole. What so, happened to the trailer? Oh, Nathan was down there. He, he, one thing led to another thing. That don't tell me anything. What happened to the window? Specifically tell me what happened to the window. I ended up breaking out the window. You ended up breaking out the window. Actually, Why? Trying to get Nathan out of there. Trying to get Nathan out of there. Yeah. Well, there's been property damage. There's been some assaulting going on. That means that some people have been getting hit. Okay? Well, got hit. Uh, well, I'm hearing a different story. So now you're saying that y'all didn't get into it at all? 
We hollered and screamed at each other. Y'all didn't push on each other, didn't hit each other? You didn't drag him out of that trailer? No, I didn't drag him. No, he ran. <laughs> oh. He ran. Well, this is what's going to go on, OK? Your property, her property, whatever. You're going to go to jail tonight, and so is he, OK? Stay loose. Right now, we're at a domestic with a possible knife out in front of a residence. Hey, where's Dominique? What? Turn around. Hands behind your back. Oh, my God. You just need to calm down. For what? I didn't do thing. OK, well, I'm going to cuff you up. We'll Why figure out what's what. Up? I didn't do a damn thing. All right, we'll just relax for a second. Man. You got any weapons on you? Nope. No weapons. All right. Yep. Have a seat right there. Yeah. Well, that's just the way it's going to be. Yeah, that just sounds weird. It's just watching. Are you involved with what's going on? My brother attacked me. I'm sorry. Okay. He choked me. He ripped my shirt. Hold on, I'll give you an opportunity to talk. Tell me what happened. I have witnesses right here. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of my life. Okay. He started choking me, man. And I what love for? him. He's my brother. I just want to look at the kind of injuries you got. Tell me what's going on, man. I, I don't really have any injuries. Take a couple deep breaths. I love my brother, man, but he attacked me. Somebody said something about a knife. Is there a knife involved in what's going on no, here? No, there was no knife involved. Okay, somebody called and said there was no, a knife. No, there's no weapons. No weapons at all. OK, so you guys both live here? No, he was actually supposed to be visiting. OK. I didn't know that. And all of a sudden, you know, he's staying here. He's my brother. I love him, you know. I mean, I would I would have helped him give him a second chance, but that's all I could do. Okay. And then I had a friend bring this um, girl over I really don't like. Uh -huh. To a friend's house. And right. I was like, I'm leaving, but they kicked her out. And then all of a sudden he started tripping and then he pushed me into the wall and then he pushed me a couple more times. And then, you know, the whole time I was like, you know, call the cop and he threatened to kill me. And, you know, I believe he almost did because he had his arm, his hands around my neck, okay. <laughs> choking me. We're going to try and figure out what's going on, okay, buddy? Can you keep people between me and him, please? Absolutely. I won't let him near you, okay? Oh, y'all can get between me and him, please. <laughs> what happened tonight? We were watching TV and my brother came in tripping because I sent a friend over there. They went over to kick it because I was depressed and I didn't want anyone around me. And they were to kick it and he got all irate and kicked them out of these 13, 16 year old houses. Right. And uh, we're sitting there, we start watching the movie, relaxing. And he comes over talking about out of my house, blah, 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 blah. He gets up in my face, and okay. I stood up, and he pushed me, so I pushed him back. Okay. And that's it. Did you choke him at all? Huh? Did you choke him? I tried to pick him up by his shirt, but his shirt ripped. Oh, I see his shirt ripped. He's got some marks on his neck. Out. Did you, like, maybe just trying to... He's probably too much wrestling, because he tried to grab me, and he's a little bit weaker than me, so I pushed him around. Okay, do you have any big bruises on you or anything like that on you? I don't bruise easily. I don't figure you would. All right, sit tight. Can I talk to you for a sec? Me? Yeah, yeah, come on over here for a second. Talk to me. I know you told somebody else, but because I'm the one writing the report and all that, why don't you tell me what happened? Okay, what happened was I was in the room, and my brother, my stepbrother, Bobby, came in and told everybody to get out of the room. Mm -hmm. And Dominic got really pissed off because he was, I guess, that I, I don't know. But he pushed him against the wall. And I, was on the, I was on his chair in the bedroom, and I said, stop it, you guys. You need to stop it. And I guess that Dominic said, I'm going to cut your throat. I'm going to kill you. Okay. And I guess that he, um, Bobby pushed him off off of him. And he, I guess Dominic went outside. And he came outside and he took off somewhere. And that's when uh, Bobby threw all the rest of his stuff out yeah, here? Yeah, he threw it outside and locked the door. All right, excellent. Stand up for me. You have anything on you that's going to hurt me, sick me, guns, weapons, drugs, knives, or needles of any kind whatsoever? Right now, you're under arrest for domestic violence, assault, fourth degree against your brother. Do you understand that? We got statements that say that you were uh, choking him out more than just him telling us that. So you got to understand where we're coming from. When we have statements like that, then uh, we have to go with that. We don't have a crystal ball. We weren't here during the entire time of the incident, so it's our responsibility to check that. You understand? Her? Yes, sir. Okay. We'll just so you know what's going to happen tonight. Since we're going to leave, just go ahead and pick up these items, take them inside, and if he, uh, when he comes back, he can get them then. All right. I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad, really, I'm glad, sir, you're all right. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's going to be a traffic stop on the car up here. We're going stop to stop and talk to him about his vehicle registration here. Okay, this guy's taking off. 
And we're gonna be northbound on I Street. And we're going through an alley eastbound, parallel to 56th Street, two occupants. Northbound on J Street. North, northbound from 54th. Passengers either they're trying to get out or bail. Westbound 53rd. And we're gonna go northbound I Street. And definitely two occupants. Eastbound 52nd, permission to pit with speeds. Flip for student northbound. He's on the ground! Police get down! That's passenger. Police get down the ground! Get down, give me your hands! Give me your hands! Put your hand behind your back. Oh. Give me that hand. No, this one right here. I you, sure be careful of that hand. Yeah. Hispanic male, 5'6", oh, uh, blue shirt, oh, no. blue jeans. Drivers in custody, passenger still out. Last name eastbound, 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 this is the car we tried to stop for expired tabs. They tried stopping to bail, got out of the car. It rolled into this car after they left. Passenger's still outstanding. Guys are looking for him. Hey, go ahead, listen up to me, okay? I don't even know why I'm being booked. He was gonna shoot me. He was gonna shoot you? So let me ask you this. After the guy with the gun went the other way, Why'd you keep running from the police instead of turning around saying, oh, I'm gonna oh, shoot help you. me, I'm oh, gonna help shoot me. You. Didn't you hear police, police? No, sir. No? I was scared. He so, was, he and kept that, sticking a gun in my The other guy, uh, he was Mexican, right? Yes. He kept sticking okay. the gun in my, in my stomach, sir, when we were driving. Every time I tried to swerve. Don't mean to pick on you here, but do I have any accent whatsoever? So when I was yelling police, did you think I was that guy or me? Did you see me throw myself in the dirt, officer, sir? I saw you try and hide from the car, and as I came around the van, I saw you trying to crawl away from me. Tell you what, good news for you is this is day two on the job for me, so I was just lucky I found you. Why don't you head over towards that white car? You can lean right here if you want. Use that big black bar, there's a seat. Do you know about the warrants for your arrest? Mm -hmm. Do you know about the warrants for your arrest? No, sir. You didn't know about those warrants? You've been arrested for distributing narcotics before? No. Possession of narcotics? Mm. You have a warrant for that? No? I didn't know that. And those uh, $48,000 worth of warrants you got or just uh, somebody else? Have a seat there for me. They got a dog in the back seat. Feel free to run again if you want, but it didn't go too well for you the first time, right? It's gonna go worse the second time, so I'd hang out right there if I were you. We're gonna take him to jail for felony eluding tonight. He's got $48,000 worth of assorted misdemeanor warrants. He's saying that uh, the passenger in the car was pointing a gun at him and was telling him not to pull over and uh, he didn't realize it was the police that were chasing after him apparently. She cheated on me with this guy that she's with and I got pissed. She sent her boyfriend after me. Okay, fine, I'm here, I'm here. Come and get me, I'm here, come and get me. We're heading to a call. We're uh, trying to find out exactly what happened, but they're uh, chasing a guy out of the saloon. He's hiding in the bushes across the street, so we're going to head down there and see if they need any help. He's going to try to hide in the bushes about uh, 15 yards ahead of you. Lay down on the ground. Lay down. Lay down. I'm fine. I'm fine. Put your hands down and shut up. Thank you. 
Let's look at these texts that she okay, supposedly let's... says that I threatened her with. All right, so what was sure. the whole deal with him then? I guess his girlfriend called, said that he's been making threats. Uh, call her on the phone, say, I'm going to kill you. you know, or, I'm going to blow the place up, going to shoot you, that kind of thing. Uh, we were tied up on an accident, so we didn't really get here as fast as we probably should have. The uh, uh, gal calls back again and says, hey, he's at the saloon over here, which is close to the trailer park, you know, only about a half mile maybe, and said, hey, I'm over here, I'm coming, I'm coming to get you. And uh, so that's when we came down here. I just did an area check, uh, found his truck in the parking lot. Okay. Uh, waited until you guys got here, and then uh, guarding one said he was running. <laughs> yeah. We tracked him over here and found him nestled down the, snugly in the weeds. Hey, if you look at my Texas. She said I'm threatening her through my Texas. Then when you get rocks, what? because she sent her boyfriend that after me. That's that's why. You're gonna protect yourself. What are the rocks gonna do? Well, what else do I got? Are these magic rocks? I don't know what this guy's about. Okay. You know, he's being protected. So you got to understand you that. Got, you're broken up now. What's the deal? I mean, you're. You know what? She's an alcoholic, and okay. I put her in treatment, you know, and stuff. All and right. she cheated on me with this guy that she's with, and I got pissed. This, this your, guy uh, says he's gonna kick my ass, and I said, well, okay, fine. I'll meet you down at the bar, you know. We're, doing the male testosterone thing going on, you know, and blah, 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 you know? Okay. I was like, okay, fine, I'm here, I'm right. here, come and get me, I'm here, come and get me, come and get me. So, you know, do you think I'm gonna sit in my truck and wait for the guy? No. So that's why you guys find me out here. So you're hiding from him, not us? I'm hiding from him, oh, not from okay. you guys. Gotcha. So okay. you didn't call her and laugh and say that you were in the bar and you were waiting for us to come and get I, you? I, and I you know. saw us sitting out there and... <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm sitting at the bar. Hey, okay, my name's Scott, and I'm waiting for the cops to come and get me. Okay, yeah, right. That's Okay, this is tattoo stupid on my forehead here, okay? Stranger things have happened, man. Yeah, yeah stranger things, and I'm sure you guys have found them all, too. Mm -hmm. So please. Okay, well, we'll, check the mic. we'll get to that. Why, why did she call us and tell us that, though? Because she's, she knows that I'm a registered sex offender. Okay. She knows me for... She's but you're registered, for, right? You're good. But I'm registered. I'm okay. good. Okay. I'm angry, yes. Well, Violent, just, no. Well, why didn't you just come on over and say, hey, look, I heard there's some problems. You know, you could have gotten it all because cleared up. Because I know Laura. I know Laura. And I know she fabricates things. We don't take sides, man. We go for the truth. I realize so what's that. The, what, I realize that. But I was, I was also, I'm thinking about my background, too. You know? Okay. okay. Your background has nothing to do with today. We go by today. What hap what's happening right now? That's what's happening right now. It's her and I are fighting. I had said some mean things. I called her a bitch, called her, you know, horror, things like that, you know. But I certainly would not hurt her. And she should know that. Out of two years, she should know that I would never hurt her. But she focuses on this background stuff. She doesn't know me. She doesn't well, know. she's having a panic attack down there, and she has to be seen she by She has aid. a panic attack when her dog won't take a dump, or her, <laughs> her cat won't breathe. There's nothing I can do for her. What's that? Let's put him in my car. OK. And then I'll you know, talk to you know, I got a business to run, you know? Okay. And I won't we're have gonna, time. We're going to go back here. I get to talk to my partner, and we'll see if we can just figure it out for you, all right, buddy? OK. Your car uh, All right, go ahead and see in the back. Watch your head. He threatened his significant other and decided to run from us. Looks like he's going to jail. A caller reported that he's trying to impound a vehicle, but the owner got in the vehicle and won't get out. I ran the subject's name and looks like he has a misdemeanor warrant locally for aiming or discharging a weapon. So. Hey, Keith. Stanley, white male in his 40s. I just only had to warrant. Let's detain him for now. Yeah. Is he still in the truck? Yep. Still in there? Yeah. Hey, Stanley. Yeah, come around 315, there. 19. Do you have any weapons on you? Absolutely none. Okay, I'm going to have you step out for now. Okay. I will not step out. Okay, well, I think we have a warrant for your arrest. Get out of the car. I will not step out. Okay. Get out of the car. Grab Got it. Get every hand! Behind your back! I got no cuffs. Okay. When we say get out of the car, we mean get out of the car, Stanley. You understand us? Yes. You have any weapons on you? I don't even have my license on me, man. That'd be a no, wouldn't it? 
440 County. We have one in custody wow. after pepper spray. Units are counting each other. 513 arriving next. 31 Are you going to be able to stand up? Not without help. I mean, I'm just saying. Grab the here. Here we go. Ready? Up. Here. And let's go back this way. Watch the glasses. Watch the glasses. Okay. Wherever. I got Stanley, did you know about your warrant? If I have a warrant, yes, I know what it is. It's a failure to pay on a pointing a firearm or something? Yeah, aiming or, aiming or discharging a firearm. I was illegally convicted due to the complete incompetency of my so-called private public defender. So are you saying you didn't know about your warrant? No, I, I was aware of it. OK, how come you haven't taken care of it yet? Because I will not pay for a stupid ticket. OK, I'll help you. Turn. To your right. And then sit straight back. Watch your head. Well, we'll take care of that warrant tonight. How come you wouldn't get out of your truck after we asked you to a couple times? I wouldn't get out of the truck because I knew that was going to tow it. And there's absolutely no reason for him to tow it. Is it? There's a disabled sticker in the window. Okay, well, my partner told you to get out of the car. You said no. I said, well, Stanley, you have a warrant for your arrest. You need to get out now. And then you refused, OK? Was I violent in any way? Doesn't matter. Was it, it, I violent in any way? No, I wanted to argue the point with you. Well, when you got a warrant for your arrest, it's hard to argue that. Well. Right. Yeah. OK. OK, I'll talk to the tow driver real quick and see what okay. the disposition of that's going to be. All right. All right. What's your side of the story on the tow? My side of the story is it's an illegal tow. There's a disabled sticker right there in the window. Are they repoing it or just towing it because it's in a uh, it's disabled spot? Because it's in a disabled spot. OK. I told him I'd get out as soon as he put it on the ground. OK. So it's being towed because it's in a handicapped spot. Yeah. All right. Do you have any disabled placards or anything on your uh, truck? Disabled placards on the dashboard. Oh, there is one on the dashboard. Yeah, it wasn't on there whenever he hooked up to it. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't there. It was laying in the floor. I that's probably why they called the tow truck, just because your placard wasn't uh, visible. Yeah, and when I walked up and told him that I am a disabled driver, yeah. he should have put it back down, because it was an illegal tow. You know, unfortunately, once they hook a car up like that, they won't pay, put it down unless you, until you pay them. So what, what exactly happened here? He's going to private impound. He admitted that when you got here, he didn't have the placard on his car. Yeah. And he put it on once he saw you. It was already hooked up. Truck. Yeah. So hooked up to it. And sure. And you just waited for us at that point? Yeah. Yeah, I just called the guys up. OK. Unfortunately for him, he's going to owe the tow truck uh, company money to get his truck back, and he's going to jail for on his warrant. Another officer just told me about a uh, stolen Dodge pickup. It's silver and has uh, marker lights on the roof. And I guess it was taken while uh, a guy was unloading food out of it for the food bank. So it was sitting and running. The guy just hopped in and drove off with it. Okay, I think I got that stolen truck here. Hey, hey, Spokane police, get out of the car, get out of the car. Duty five is taking off. Hey, five, we're northbound. Oh, there he is. You with the vehicle? He's going off road here. The orchard to go. I got him going uh, north on Orchard Prairie. Right down on Orchard Prairie. See, we get somebody with some spikes. This guy's just not stopping. Speed 70 miles an hour, uh, no traffic. 280. 285, that unit in front of you, I'll call it if you want. Hey, go ahead and call it.
285. I need the fire department out here. Yeah, there's a level construction, so I can't get this thing out. I need to just step it up on that fire department. My car's just about fully engulfed. Hit a stump, and I think that's what did it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fire department. Let me throw a shotgun around. We just got word from a citizen called in, saw our suspect trying to swim across the river fully clothed. A couple officers went to the area and located the guy. He still had the truck keys in his pocket, so we got our man. The call we're heading to right now is a burglary in progress. It's also a gun call. You got some ID in there? No. Nope. She comes running back out. She says, Ryan, there's some dude in our bathroom. The call we're heading to right now is a, a burglary in progress. It's also a gun call. Um, it's a little confusing. I know that I know it's a burglary. I know there's a gun involved. But what I don't know is who's got the gun, whether it's the good guy or the bad guy. And one of the people is in the bathtub, whether it's a good guy or the bad guy. I don't know that either. Where you at? Looks up. Where you at? Right here. He was the one that was in the shower, huh? Minnesota. Here's, here's the story real quick. Homeowner comes here, finds him in there taking a bath, doesn't know who he is. This homeowner's gun, homeowner confronts him with a shotgun. So whoever he is, nobody knows who he is. What's his first name? Andy. From Minnesota? From Minnesota. I think it's the same guy Jerry and I contacted. So uh, check out Minnesota. Does he yeah. want to do anything with this guy or just have him on his way? Uh, they're getting to that right now. Okay. You see the bathtub? Yeah. He was dirty. <laughs> He's in there taking a bath. When did you guys go home? When did you go to bed? Me and my girlfriend, we got him in a scuffle in the room. You know, we were bitching back at each other, blah, blah, blah. So she came out here to sleep on the couch. Me being me, I'm, you know, come out here, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. I'll sleep out here, blah, blah, blah. You know, and I figured my roommate was home. And, you know, I figured she was home in the bathroom, blah, blah, blah. I went in the bathroom, you know, and we are being loud, you know, figured no one's dumb enough to So you were already home when he came in and started yeah. taking a bath? Yeah. Then, you know, my girlfriend walks back in there, and she comes back out, and she goes, Rachel home, blah, blah, blah. And she opens the front door to see if Rachel's boyfriend's truck was here, and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, there's a bag and some other on the front porch. Da, da, da. And I said, what? And she walks back to the bathroom, and she comes running back out, and she says, Ryan, there's some dude in our bathroom. I just instantly grabbed a gun and went right in the bathroom. I said, what the are you doing? You know, dude, I would have caught you unexpectedly taking a bath. I would, I'd have ran back to the room, 
got the gun and shot Did he your thing to you? No. He's like, he was acting cool like I was just he standing just there talking there. to him. Okay. Looks like he cut the screen or just pulled the screen right out of the, pulled the rubber molding piece off the screen and climbed in right here. And he used the ladder to get up. That makes it easy. I leaned over and saw him right there. Okay. And I walked right back to the porch, or right back to the, to the love seat right there and said, Ryan, there's somebody in our house. Okay. Nothing else missing or anything out of here or anything, right? Um, Your bathroom, kitchen, know, didn't notice like, anything? Ryan made me leave, so. Is that bubble bath? Yeah, that's my bubble bath, too. Damn, he used all of it, too. So. That's my bubble bath. Um, do you guys got like a... a Giant plastic, sanitizer kit a, for your bathtub? No. A plastic glove I could use at least. Do you want open? Mm. I don't know how many drugs you used in mine. Andy, how many different officers you met since you've been in Spokane? I don't know. A lot? A lot of them. What, what happened tonight? Why'd you meet us tonight? I needed to shave. Did you start shaving? Just my uh, face. Get this. Let me see, what'd you get? Just enough. Oh, they, they got you right in the middle of the shave, huh? Maybe. How'd you get in the house? Through a screen. Yeah. Did you get a good good bath? Yeah, it was short enough. <laughs> it got shortened up a little bit, huh? A little how, bit. Long, how long were you in the bathtub before they came in there? Long enough. Long enough to get a partial shave but not get that stash off, huh? So that's your story when you're sticking to it. You needed a shave and a bath. Yep. All right, Andy. Every time we meet, you're doing something crazy. What you doing up there? I hate to see you fall off there. So can I get you to step down here, Harold, where we can talk? Edward 255, did you copy your... We got this subject we just drove upon. Let's walk along the bridge here. What you doing up there? Can you step down so I can talk to you? I hate to see you fall off there. What's your name? What's that? Harold. Oh, my name's Kevin, Harold. Mind if I come over here and talk to you? Is that cool? What's the problem today? Get a job. Oh, you can't get a job? So why don't you step down here and we'll have a talk and we figure out if we can do something for you. I won't put you in handcuffs. You haven't done anything wrong, have you? Harold, you haven't broken the law, man. I'm not going to put you in handcuffs. The only thing right now is I'm, I'm concerned for you. I don't want to have to be, keep yelling at you, and I can barely hear what you said with your way over there. You know what I mean? So can I get you to step down here, Harold, where we can talk? I know you I know you want to. I know you want to step down here and talk to me. All right. What's that? I'm sure you can work this out a better way. It's all right. It's everything's cool, Harold. You know, I, let's get this worked out before I get a bunch of people here, all right? Hey, you want to do this with just the two of us before all these guys get here. Step on down and talk to you. Excellent, partner. You need some help? Hop down here and sit down right here if you like. You want to sit down right there? Excellent, excellent. So what's the problem, partner? Just getting tired. Tired? I try to please everybody. I'm trying to please everybody. Harold, do you want to come sit in my car where it's cool? I've got some air conditioning going. Can I have some water? Here's the... Can I have some water, please? Here's the thing, Harold. All right? You're not under arrest, all right? But as I said, I'm kind of concerned for you, all right? I don't want to see you do anything to harm yourself. And, you know, standing up on this ledge here probably wasn't the best idea because I was afraid you might fall off and hurt yourself. And I don't think that's the best route for you right now, all right? You may be having problems in your life right now, but this ain't the way to handle it, okay? 
And seeing that I'm kind of concerned for you, what I'd like to do is bring you to Sacred Heart and talk to somebody, okay? All right, Harold? Can I please have some water? I don't have any water on me right now, buddy. But when they get the Sacred Heart, we can definitely get you some water. That's not a problem at all. Okay? All right, man. Let's stand up. As I said, you're not under arrest. Yeah, but you're putting cuffs on. Well, you're not going to hurt yourself, are you, or try anything stupid. I don't, like, we're going to hold on to you because I don't want to see you take a leap off this edge, you know? You've been square with me, and I appreciate it. All right? I'm not going to transport you, so it's kind of up to this officer, all right? Let's just let's get him over Step here. Over. Oh, I got it. Swing it to go. All right. Perfecto. All right, Harold. It's all right, partner, all right? As I said, you're not under arrest. We're just going to get you taken care of, all right, so you can go talk to someone. I'm not a mental health professional, so I'm going to put you in touch with someone that can talk to you, all right? And we can get this stuff worked out. Sound cool? Yeah, fair enough. All right? Plus, it's nice and cool in the car. We'll get you some water so you can get there, all right? You got anything in your pockets? Never okay. went. Just the lighter. Just face me. Face me. Sit straight back. Lean up. Scoot all the way back. Kick your feet up there like it's a bus seat. This is a first for me. You know, finally we were able to get him off the bridge and talk to me. But uh, for a second there, I thought he wasn't going to come off for quite a while. We'll check him, see if he's got any mental health history and take him up for an evaluation. Yeah, I'd have him talk to a mental health professional. Hopefully they can get him straightened away. Suspect so ditched the car and ran into a house. He's moving. Jason, Sheriff's oh, Department, oh. show yourself. Oh, he's just going down the hallway. Show your hands! Show your hands now! Get on your stomach now! We got a deputy who's in pursuit of a vehicle right now. Been pursuing him here for a couple miles. We're trying to catch up to him. He's gonna be coming up on us here in uh, just a short time. You might see the car up here. Suspect ditched the car and ran into a house right up here. Can we come inside? That door to your right is the basement. What are they doing? Jason, go ahead. Jason, Sheriff's Department, show yourself. There's dogs. Be careful. Give me one. Need one. Sweating profusely. Well, hey, you guys all came in here. Of course, I'm sweating. I'm gonna have one, and I can hear it somewhere. Step outside. Ow, ow. Ow, check you again. Okay, ow. Yeah, thank you. What is it? Ow. Can I turn my wrist? Sit down. Can I turn my wrist? Yes. Will you take these off? Take your feet in for a second. Uh, going down 4th Street, he was completely swerved right into my lane, almost hit him head on, so I had to swerve to the right. Um, as soon as I turned on him, he punched it and took off, uh, drove through all the neighborhoods. And then he finally went through a parking lot here, bailed down on foot, just did a circle, and came right back into this house. Um, and a citizen actually flagged me down and said he ran in there. Interviewed him after Miranda, and he uh, said he was reaching down for a cigarette, is why he swerved off the road. and then. Uh, he ran just because he was scared. Hey. Okay. What's that? Just, just relax, relax. Don't be scared, man. Well, don't be scared. What happened tonight, Jason? I'm not scared, man. I don't yeah. want to go back to jail. Why would you go back to jail? No license. You don't have a license? Is that why you ran? Do you have any warrants for your arrest? No. So you got a suspended license right now? 
I've never had one. Never had a license? How come? I've never had one. So what happened when uh, when the deputy turned on his lights and, and uh, pulled you over, tried I, to pull you over? I panicked. Yeah? I'm going to turn the corner, and then I was going to get out, and I didn't. I should just got out. Yeah? Did you almost hit any cars? No, for a while. Not for a while? So what happened when you came up here? What do you mean? Well, when you got up to where your car is parked right now, what happened? I came all the way here and got out. Where'd you go? To my house. Okay. And what happened in there? Were you trying to pretend like you were asleep down there? Yeah. It's all right, man. You... We were there. We, we saw it. You making... What was your plan? You're just going to jump in bed, pretend like you're bed. sleeping? I didn't know you guys were going. I didn't know you guys were going in the house. Yeah. Have you ever ran from the police before? I'm for it. Uh -huh. I've done No. But it's been years. I haven't been in trouble since four. How many times have you been arrested before? I don't know. Do you have a meth problem? I did. Are you clean on meth? I'm clean. I only smoke weed now. I didn't hit anyone, did I? Nope, you didn't hit anyone, but you are under arrest for eluding a police officer and driving with a suspended license. You I'm sorry, guys. I panicked. We went all the way from getting a ticket going on the night to getting a felony charge.